Yes, but Hufflepuff is a family. There we go. Look, Huckle, Hufflepuff is literally guys, a negative guys, presence guys, in the movies. Guys, I guys. Start, I started recording. Let's, let's, let's do this. <laughs> yep. Right. And yeah, so let's step off the politics and let's play some. When did where Hufflepuff we have to rescue <laughs> a princess? <laughs> out of the books, the movies become politics. I want to know that too. No, I don't want to know. <laughs> what? Hufflepuff. Wait, what? <laughs> Let's please get on with the story. We are half an hour late. No, I, I want to know. No more say. politics. <laughs> All right, start posting dick pics. Look, no more politics. Vol- <laughs> no more politics. Voldemort won. That's it. Just let, yep. Let's get it over with. <laughs> yes. nice. Make my nose. Make my nose great again. Ugh. All right. Welcome so, back to this uh, okay. to the Galapagos Islands campaign. This is session number, and we left off in an abandoned, blood-splattered, zombie-infested factory with a lot of gold in it. Session seven. What y'all way. can't do? We apologize also, if none uh, of you I'll in the audience. Oh no! really just took that whole "I got your nose" thing way too seriously. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you turned anyway. evil. Uh, I think our current plan was like uh, four people were going to push the wagon and I was going to scout locations or something. I think I put it in yeah, the while I, uh, Yes. Um, yeah, while I pull one by myself because I'm big enough to. Yeah. Right, I put and the, then... I pull carries his own, but uh, everyone else carries a box and wagon. I scout. I put the plan in the notebook. Spirit away the way to go. Wait, hide I... it somewhere. Hold the on. question mark. Profit. Time out. I thought the plan was that me and Mi- that medium charcoal were going to carry the boxes out there because we're the only two strong enough to. We and a... then the rest of you were going to do something else. I can't remember. No. Uh, no. One you were the, the only guy strong enough to carry one on your own. Yeah. Oh. The rest of us are going to have to work together to carry this shit out. Yeah, we have to use oh, the... Oh, right. We've got to we've got to put it to the we've got to take that to the cart and we have to do it one at a time. We have to the use cart, the right? wagon and I have to see how much we can carry. The wagon can hold... Uh, we already figured this box. out. Um, we actually already figured this out. Yeah. Charcoal okay. will carry one. The, the wagon will carry one. We move out, bury the gold somewhere, come back for the second trip, and do the same thing. Yeah. Anyway, right. anyway, let's get, uh, let's get the cart. I'm not going to go alone to get the cart. It's just, you know... I'm, I'm going out with you. On, on second thought, maybe I should go alone. Get out here. <laughs> I don't want to get eaten by a Gru because of because of you. <laughs> Relax. You just have to have a light. You just have to have a lantern. Relax. I've got a ten foot reach. You'll be okay. <laughs> that makes it even worse. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, there we go. Go on then. Let's just step out into, boop, 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 uh, into boop, doo, the humid. Do I actually Dark have night? You can hear the waves lapping at the beach. Oh dear. Distance. No, fuck you, hippies. Let's go to the beach. <laughs> oh, here. I I guess I'll roll perception real quick just to make sure nothing's like out and about watching us. Well, I can look inside the the inn, and there is nothing in there. It's good. It looks like she still has my chest, so that's great. <laughs> and Theodore like is like, still asleep. I like that you can watch through the door. <laughs> we left the door open. Did we? Did we leave the door open, or did we? I t- no, we closed, closed the door. We closed it after we left, anyway. Yeah, the door is closed. I just didn't the really light. feel like messing with the lighting layer. Ah, oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, well, can... at least I'm. At least I. You feel safe knowing that she still has my chest. Yeah, you can she literally put chest. a single yeah. line over the door, and that would be enough. I don't uh, feel like four- we're there. Okay, fine. Four, uh, 14 for perception. Is anyone trying to follow us? You don't... You don't seem to hear anything following you, but you feel like you're being constantly watched. And with the, uh, and with the undulating and never-ending sound of the waves down at the polluted beach, uh, it creates quite an eerie tingle down your spine. Turns out I'm the one watching him all, all the time. Uda, I don't like this. I feel like someone's watching us. Should we not do this? Not get the card and just stand here doing nothing? Get in front of the card. 
All right. I'll Onward. pull the cart. Onward. Get in the fucking cart, media. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna move to the cart. Wait, I'm gonna move it. I got it. <laughs> Dang it, Hoond! I had it. I was locked in position. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all okay? <laughs> there we go. There we go. As the two struggle with the cart, I guess the uh, rest of us are getting the uh, first chest to put on the. Uh, <laughs> just we're I getting the cart yeah. bickering all the way. <laughs> ah! Yes. yes, you are. Just, just left me there. Hold on. Stop it. <laughs> it's me. It's you. Yes. You were moving it. It's my car. All right. I put the back. I put the back of the cart to the door so that we can just load it up real quick. He said even the back. I don't remember. Ah, oh, close I enough. don't. I I, I think where it the is. The curtains are is the back. Yeah. I mean, I I guess. <laughs> For it some reason, even... this this cart design is for some reason just like weirding me out. I just don't <laughs> understand how this cart design works. I, it doesn't yeah, even look the, like the, a I believe that that's the back. I I used like a tile uh, sheet uh, to yeah. make this cart. It it doesn't even look like a cart. It doesn't. Well, I it's, can't it's, even. It's... Cut. it looks like the curtain is flat on the ground. Okay, well, so you have to understand. It's, it's, it's a Super Nintendo isometric view sort of thing. Yep. Yeah. It's confusing me. Yeah. You have to understand that Ben's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing new. I like the card. Anyway. Uh, yeah, let's try and get the stuff on the card. Well, one of the boxes anyway. Because more than that, and it will break down. It will break apart. Literally break in two. Well, let's go and get your box then. Can we, we can't move the fucking boxes. Yeah, they, if they're Go still back part and you of... might find something different. Oh, can we move them now? Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna prepare the. I'm gonna prepare the cart and make some room inside. <clears throat> oh my god! Oh my god! We can actually grab the boxes now. Yep. They are still there. Yep. <laughs> 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 Yes. And then throw one of them on charcoal. Ah! Yep. There we go. <laughs> Just throw them anyway. <laughs> oh my god. So how many were there all in all? Five? Uh, yeah, but we're leaving one here. We're leaving, yeah, so... F okay, one... I love how you're leaving one there. Uh, yeah, because yeah, that's, that's that, part of our next plan. That's part of the plan. Anyway, so that's one in the wagon. One on Mia, one on Charcoal, and the last one oh, will wait, be carried by... Oh, wait, am I, am I by... grabbing another one? Am I supposed to be grabbing another one? Because I don't think I'm strong enough to carry them Ah, uh, no. We myself. were going to make a second trip. Yeah. I'd love to I make just, I'd love to make just one trip if we can. But... I don't think we can. Uh, let's see, what is my... Like, legit, I don't in... think we can. We are, in fact, not swole enough to carry four of these fucking things. Okay, then we take two first, and then the other two of, on the second one, if we can. Yeah, man, gold is pretty fucking heavy. Yeah. Yeah, because my my max load, my max load is three. It's, is it's three forty-five. <laughs> That's a like fucking wimp. Shrimp. That doesn't take in fact that you're a quadruped and that you're not having to pick the thing up and put it in your backpack. You're dragging it. No, Moving that's, on. that's 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 anyway. well, okay. Look, we we literally we literally have to move nine tons. Nine metric tons of gold. Yep. So not counting the boxes actually. The boxes are probably another couple hundred kilos. Okay. Okay, well if we're thinking about just getting it off the ground, it's I mean, no, 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 it's it's okay, Zephy. No, Zephy, it's okay. We're taking, we're taking two on the first trip, and we try to make a second trip if we have the time. Okay. We got the entire oh, night, and walking four hours out is not all that necessary. Fuck, walking two hours out is gonna put us, gonna put yeah, two hours, big two hours should be enough. Is there, uh, there was a, a forest nearby, wasn't there? 
Oh, really? Yeah. Like one hour should be enough, right? Shouldn't it? No, the forest was ne- uh, was nearby Oceana View and was in the uh, oh, opposite right. direction. So what what is what is near this town in terms of hiding places? A lot of cliffs and a polluted ocean. Yeah, we already discounted the ocean though, so pff, I we could probably find a I... cave somewhere. Ah, everything is gone. A cave is viable, but you can always roll survival to try and see if you can find one. Let's leave the town, okay. then we roll survival. Yes. Let me just shove the cart into the church here. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just... We're Miss so something. fucking stealthy. Holy shit, dude. Oh, hey, there's there's carbon copy. And we're leaving Octavo behind for some reason. <laughs> Who's going to just follows us drunkenly, it seems? I'm <laughs> trying... If you work on a fucking cell phone. Well, ah. I don't know why I need to keep like referencing the map for every little thing, but whatever. That's nah, okay. Oh, I know it's because people hate me. That's anyway, we do. Are are Tavo, not we do we hate you, you so much. Anyway, you all leave uh, leave the town as stealthily as you can, and try to find a cave to uh, to stash away the gold. No, we roll survival. Roll to... We wanted to roll okay, survivals survive. first, and maybe we find a cave. But if we find something, oh, I would. Yes. I would, but I have disappeared. Where are you? I think I moved myself off the map, and now I can't get back. <sighs> oh, come Every on. time. I'm sorry. Help! I fall and I can't get up. No, uh, we just no. we just let him lie there. Just let him that, lie there. That's for survival, right. right there. Yeah, that's my survival. Fits. So was my ten. The fact that I'm also drunk is nineteen. Thirteen. <laughs> so Zephy just I'm wanders wrong. off into the ocean and drowns, <laughs> while the rest of us are actually doing the plan. Well, time what to bring, bring in this. Time to bring in the ghost pony. Let's go. All right. Let's go as a map. Eight. Using your combined <laughs> skill and the fact that media evidently just has the ability to walk off the fucking map. I'm sorry. You all managed to find a cave. It's reasonably hidden. Then you can um, you can cover the uh, the boxes of gold with some uh, some old seaweed inside the cave. Why not just why not just bury them? I will make sure that as you find this cave, I write all of this down in exacting detail on my map. So we don't fucking lose this gold. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Oh, we're still going to lose yeah. this gold. Oh, totally. <clears throat> oh, Media's back. Yep. Yeah. Doesn't have a name. Media new token. Or Doesn't bars. A, yeah, no name. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Help! I've wandered into the void and I can't get out. Ooh, wee, <laughs> All right. The how long? The demon awakens at last. <laughs> how long did it take us to get to the cave and hide the things? It takes roughly two hours. Uh, there and back, or Dang. just there? Just there. Okay, so we would get back like four hours later, and then do the second trip. You mean two? Well, yeah. I guess yeah. Four hours and two is the entire trip. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, I mean, if nothing happens, we should come back just in time for the sunrise. Yep. And, luck, um, as luck would have it, nothing does happen, because the roads leading to and from Innsmouth are, rent, uh, are you know, kind of abandoned, because people tend we, to avoid Outsmith. Outsmith? Outsmith. Outsmith. I mean, so damn, you're not even did... trying to hide the reference now. So no. we, got, we got the gold that did we I needed to say something out. else? You said Innsmouth. You said Innsmouth. Fuck. Look, that. Oh, well. <laughs> look, that. That's their twin city. Yep. It's their sister location. <laughs> yes, their sister oh, branch. <laughs> Welcome to Outsmith, twin with hell. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I would say, like, all in all, eight hours later, we come back into the town, probably sort of tired and annoyed. Probably oh, very yeah. tired and very annoyed. You've gone an entire night without any rest. Well, yeah. Which is why we're going. Which is why permafrost, as soon as we get back, is going straight back to her room and sleeping. After we get both of the boxes out. 
Well, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. After we get all the boxes out. Well, yeah. When well, yeah, but, but we, we've done that, and it should be... Look, if nothing happens and it's like, it's eight hours later, we hit the gold. We're coming back into there town right now. We will hide the gold in two different places. So our first trip, we went to the cave. Our second trip, we go somewhere else. Oh, oh so should we roll survival again? Oh, yes, yes, you yes, roll survival again. Uh, all right, then. Well, not Four. as good this time. Four. You do not have the luck that you previously hey, had. This Mitch. Time. I am not rolling yet. I have not rolled. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I got a that was the perfect spot. Giant horse. It's amazing horse. that I have survived this long out of my own. And yeah. Our, and our dragon friend is not rolling. Either way, a 20, I should probably... Oh, we're rolling survival, survival to find hiding places for money. Look, Mitchell oh, hey, got it. Mitch. Mitch Mi did get it. <laughs> Mitch has his fucking twist. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. I'm actually a pro. <laughs> nice. So, thanks to the gigantic horse being able to scout higher than, uh, than the rest of you, because, you know, <laughs> he's tall. <laughs> he manages to spot... <laughs> a, uh, he manages... <laughs> <laughs> he manages to spot a, uh, a cave in a slightly high outcropping of cliffs, all the while the dragon is um, uh, is trying to convince you all to just hide the gold behind the inn. <laughs> I want to say we all went in the, into the undergrowth and got lost, while Mitchell just looks over it. Yep. <laughs> Oh, this looks he just fine. stands around and screams. There's a fungus among us every time he sees. Exactly he's what happened. <laughs> All right. So there's a fungus I, among us. I went just... to go grab the rest of the box, the the tokens for the boxes of gold, and I almost got stuck in a dark void. Oh, God, not again. I am a Jeffy. Stop I'm getting stuck back. in the. No. Everything's okay. <sighs> oh, I made it back. Chicken. Good. Just... Just just wait, it'll get worse. Save versus death, DC forty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. What's, so yeah, that's my bonus to that. Turn back. Yeah. Mine's sixty. So we were we're awake now for what? For the entire day? Twenty four hours or so? Just now, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so fuck you hippie. Let's go to sleep. All, I, I just hope we don't run into combat because yeah. Anyway, yeah, Uda, just groggy as fuck, will nap in the cart <laughs> while we're on the way back. I'm just gonna move this. Good. Usko not being a you lazy shit. I think I'll nap on the cart as well, since I kind of really need the rest. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh, Usko not being a lazy shit bag will help pull the cart. I apologize. I would I... imagine we took turns. I... I'm already, I'm already pulling the cart, so you're okay yeah. on that one. I'd imagine and we took. You're, you're roboting. Yeah. I would imagine we took turns, considering the cart takes four medium creatures to pull it. Yep. Or probably just me by myself. Yeah, but you, you also didn't get sleep, so. All right. I will then as up. dawn breaks. Sorry. I meet up with Nightwish. And I grab, get my chest back from her. It's not her name. She kind of stares at you uh, as she returns, but gives you the chest back. Her and name actually is... smiles. Her name is not Nightwitch, damn it. Okay. It's oh, a wait. band. It's Night Sky. <laughs> Nightwish is a band. Yeah. I know. <laughs> back to my room to finish the uh, other six hours of sleep. Yeah. I'm just going to uh, go I'll into the... Sleep. I'm going to and go into Peter the corner. Is just going to, to, uh, since he actually slept, is going to just sit there and watch. Actually, you know what? Since it's it's day, right? It is yep. day now. What you What is what? the time? The actual time. Let's see. It took you roughly eight hours to do all of that. Yeah. Mm, let's see. Then it's about seven in the morning. It works out. I'm gonna sleep in the cart. Yeah, I slept in the cart too. No, no, I mean, give... I mean, I'm gonna sleep the next like seven oh, or oh, eight like hours okay. in the cart. Ah. 
I'm not I slept like two and then took the uh, other six in the bed. I'm going to go sleep in a fucking bed because I'm not stupid. <laughs> Same, so though. I kind of um, collapse into it. Oh, hey, but. that means we get to apply our bonuses and stuff for level two now. Yep. I'm yeah. going to sleep. Before I turn in for the night, I'm going to give Night Sky a silver for keeping my chest safe. Night guy's going to uh, stare kind of uh, kind of at the silver, but seeing you groggily waddle off, she's gonna shrug <laughs> and, uh, and say cheers, raise a uh, uh, morning mug to you and drink for you. I just I just wave a hand and go into my room to sleep. Where did and... you get hands from? <sighs> Sorry, who's who's? That's, just cr- that's creepy. <laughs> Oops, dance. <laughs> and while all of you are sleeping, another traveler comes down the road to poor little Altmuth. Oh, I barred my door with I barred my door with the chair again. Um, I well, use a fucking lock that came on my door. Yes, <laughs> I'm locking the door and having Fiender stand guard. Because he actually slept at the inn while we were gone. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm locking the door too, but I'm also barring it. Because you all are really, really paranoid. But yeah. Um, I, I just use the lock on my door because that's what's meant to do: keep people out. Uh, Somebody wants to wake me up, they cannot. Yeah, I, I do the exact same thing. Like the doors I just have don't a lock. Trust, I just don't trust this entire town in general. <laughs> that's because you're racist. Yeah, that's why I sleep mm-hmm. in the card. All right, so let's see how I uh, roll for health. Oh, shit, dude. Eh, oh, you're shit. healthy enough. I mean, you don't <laughs> catch cholera, but you do catch a cold. No, no, for um, health for the er, for new for max. The level up. Yeah, uh, for the level up. I thought we already did that. Yeah, I thought you did that, too. I oh. did not. Well, I did, but at the beginning of the session. That's why I have, like, 27. I did my stuff last time. Anyway, yeah. well, I had not leveled up yet, so I didn't roll anything until... Mm. While you do that, like I said, another traveler comes down the road. And Fish, this is where you come in if you'd like. <laughs> yes, I would. Um, <laughs> fish. I, like, just trip over the doorway. Anyway, yes. Uh... After a little bit of a stakeout and a good night's rest out in the wilderness, just, just trying it out like the leggy folk do, just wandering around, just seeing this place, I decided to check the place out, scout around, look around for people, <coughs> and I'll just see somebody, I'll wave, and just, morning, bruh. Oh god, yeah. I'm still playing that one. Perfect. <laughs> and I love how you're not even in roll 20 either. I mean, I can't be. Oh. Because reasons. Oh, problems, yes. Well, in that case, allow me to control your token. Thank you. Control you know, it. If someone could uh, send him a screenshot. <laughs> surrender all. Surrender control. Surrender yourself unto them. Anyway, you'd probably see the cart and know whose cart it was. Yes. All right, let me uh, open up the Skype and send the picture. Stations. Right. Send photo files. So. Hey, it's those I fucking psychopaths. I'm just like. Bruh. That cart looks awful familiar. Uh, I'm gonna show you me one day. Eh, whatever. No pudding. I gotta get some water in these lungs. Let's check out the sea. (laughs) Good (laughs) luck with that. (laughs) Yes, have fun with that. Uh, I'm sure it's about the time I get close to the shore. Um, the, uh, Odorous, um, palpable. Odors. It is over. Yeah. Face. 
Just cause it to melt from your mouth. Okay, I'm not going to lie, that's kind of metal. Two-thirds done uh, sending. If it weren't for uh, sending. capsule in uh, my lower lip, I probably would be able to take it. But, seeing as uh, it, it's a very powerful scent and the uh, water doesn't exactly look um, healthy, he's just going to sit at the dock and just stare into the water. Or what probably is water is there. Uh, just look deep into it, see the lack of life, the the the, the, the refuse, the, the dingy remains of former excavations, and just actually, there is uh, there isn't a lack of life. Uh, there's abundant life, but not very healthy looking life. Kill me. Oh, no. Thomas, you're pretty Thomas sure one of those sending. fish had three eyes. Oh my uh -oh. Uh -oh. All right, I'm back. I have a mission. I have to help these poor fish. <laughs> Good luck. I have with to that. help these poor fish from the 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 tyranny of people. Who don't know how to throw their trash away right? So, oh, shit. What, are you, Captain, what are you, Captain Planet? Apparently. <laughs> By our house, <laughs> fine, bruh. Anyway, so, yeah. Is there any way I could find any clue for a source of all of this? Well, you can um, follow your nose, and it'll take you directly. To the outhouses. They come from the silly. Right next to the end. Yep. Yes. By the way, I don't. I think my my first screenshot is still sending. Jesus fuck. Okay, could someone else yeah. send him a, a screenshot? Yes. Give me a second. Thank you. Zephy can do it. I got it. I'm on it. Yeah. I'm, I'm still up. Updating my feed. As soon as I remember how to take screenshots from my phone. Or not from my phone. Give me a second. Uh, bleh, bleh. Um, there we go. There we go. Finally. Hey. Finally. Oh, right. I forgot I had Skype turned off. <laughs> right. How are you in that the call if problem? you have Skype turned off? It's we, off on my computer. We we don't ask those kinds of questions anymore. Yeah, we just we just don't ask. They they lead to answers and we can't take them. Chicken, yeah. it's off on my computer, but I'm using my phone. Because oh. it just apparently everything sounds better on my phone. Fucking weird. Yep. Anyway, if someone would um, send Fish a screenshot of oh, the uh, in already, it's already in Skype. Yeah. I mean, yeah, my first five, picture finally uploaded. Of those. On the other end. Yes. Alright, well... I mean... Also, is that really how blurry it looks? Uh, uh, no, that's just how blurry it looks to me because my internet kind of sucks. Oh. Jesus, fuck. Yeah. Do I, I need to send a better... Do I need to send a better screenshot? If you can. Ben's background isn't loading. That's kind of... Yeah. Weird. I even refreshed it, and it still isn't loading. Well, that's did probably you, why. Did you clear did your you cache? Um. Try that. I don't know how to do that on Firefox, but let me check. Uh, delete your browsing history? Okay, I don't even keep my browsing history. History. Delete Firefox. No, history, clear recent history. It's like right on top. <sighs> Let's see here. I don't have anyway, any recent history. This... No, that the cache is also in there, and cookies. Well, yeah, and I don't have I don't have that I don't have that stuff in there. It doesn't let me. Well, it's pretty clear that people are dumping some bad things yeah. where they dump. So, <laughs> yeah. it's near the end, right? Yep. I have no idea. I'm oh, I guess it's time to think the narrating. 
Wow, apparently my phone sucks just as much as Ban's computer. Jesus fuck. <laughs> you people. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have DSL now. <laughs> I I got it. Let me let me load up Skype on my computer. Do I have to do this? No, I got it, chicken. Uh, Give me a second. I'm, I've just restarted uh, Firefox. I'm going to try this. Yeah. I would do it, but it's on my second monitor, and I'd have to, like, cut things out, and yeah. Just give me a second. I got it. Let me, let me wait for Skype to load back up on my computer. Oh, my God. I didn't realize this was going to be such a train wreck. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> 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 All right. So uh, anyway, Jesus um, fuck! I'm just gonna do it. Okay. But I'm already here. <laughs> there, that's how you do it. <laughs> I'm gonna look up. What did, what did he see for making a potion? <laughs> God, Zephy. thank you. Okay, hold up, hold up. I wasn't actually paying attention to anything going on in the chat until just now. And Zephy, did you just take a picture of your fucking computer monitor? Yes, he it's did. A, a, did. Because yes, Skype did. was turned off. That is on a my computer. special, special kind of uh, retarded. <laughs> okay, okay, look, you guys. Even I. And I'm basically. Yeah. Even I. <laughs> enough, look, enough. you guys. It's no, okay. Skype is All turned right, off stop. on my yeah, computer right. because when we play Overwatch, everything else has to be turned off on the computer oh, so that Overwatch actually it, functions correctly. It's okay, Zephy. It's okay. It's See, this okay. is why you shouldn't Overwatch. Stand on and play something that should have been done with pen and paper. So, <sighs> there's a person out in that boat. Yep. The boat is on the beach. Mm -hmm. Guy apparently lives in it or something. Well, he hasn't moved from there. <laughs> hey, see, that's that's how you do it, Zephy. Yeah, you after, Skype, do it. after Skype finally loaded up on my computer, I could do it. <laughs> Congratulations. I'll just be over here, sleeping in my tiny cramped in room with my door barred with a chair. <laughs> yeah, I'm honestly surprised I'd be able to uh, sleep in this bed. Yeah, me too. You can't. I'll, I'll you, find have to, <laughs> you have to sleep on the floor because clearly that bed is not going to fit you. I mean, shit. Normally you'd that sleep in something that's the size of the room, not the bed. I, I find a way. I find a way. Look, that bed is more. That bed is less of a bed, more of a pillow to him. <laughs> yeah, he is. The, he's the bed as a pillow, and he just sleeps on the floor. Yep. Just kind of imagine him as he just rolls over and kicks in his sleep. He just punches a hole through the wall. <laughs> yep. He accidentally kicks the shit stalls. Oh, he like punches a hole in it and starts coming through. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he smells something and he rubs his face <laughs> with that hoof. <laughs> All right, guys, let's and continue. That's how, our, that's how our barbarian got pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> we want that's magic how we, that's, how, that's how our barbarian got poisoned. We want him That's not how to your eat barbarian shit. fucking died. We want him not to eat shit. He didn't listen. Yeah. Hey, Don't so... Don't eat that shit. No. Oh. Okay. So what do you do, fish? I, I, I see this person messing with this boat. What's going on with the boat? With just brief glance. The boat is very obviously not in a seafaring state. It is covered in plant life and barnacles, and the guy who's sitting in it is just kind of sitting in it. It's staring out at the ocean. I'm gonna go poke him with a stick. Uh, no, by saying, 
that I, I mean that I'm going to go just walk up to him and ask him a few questions, such as how long has the water been like this, and is there any fresh water around here? As you walk up to the guy and lead with the question, how long has the water been like this? The guy turns around and gives you a bit of a look and goes, well, hello to you too. That's a, uh, that's a very pretty name you got there. You got a purred of my house. <laughs> Bruh. Okay. <clears throat> he, he clears his throat and uh, um, I guess he would adjust the hide around his neck, just like the the plate, uh, the hide armor, whatever, and um, just run a hoof through his hair, just slicking it back, and as he does that, um, d- d- point d- vocabulary words <sighs> alright so long story short I- I'm casting enhanced diplomacy and um, <laughs> suave voice I'm going to apologize please forgive my manners I just it's been a very long time since I've been at home well you see I, I am a uh, pony of the sea and fuck you. Fuck you. you don't get to do this. You don't get to be a fair weather fucking beach bum. <laughs> that is not how this works. Fuck you. It's an it's an O'Rison, so I get to. Because fuck you. You go oh, yeah, get to a fair weather beach bum. Lose all of your druid powers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why is anyway, he doing? Anyway, at you beach bum it up, the guy smiles at you. I can. Uh, it's okay. You don't have to uh, to explain uh, something like that. What has been uh, locked up for a couple of good? Gonna say five years. It, years. Good yep. God, man! Good gods, man! What did all of this? Like, how could? How could you? How could this? Just. Ah. Uh, He's going to take another moment and breathe. The guy's going to just sit patiently and look at him. How could you... How could this town have let something like this happen to the water? The guy shrugs. Factory closed down. No one had uh, any money anymore, so no work anymore. So this factory, what did it produce? Other than sludge from the looks of things. Skull refinery. Oh. Well, that does make sense. But still. Couldn't they have done this inland? I mean, why bother... What? Why hey, don't... perfectly good water? Hey, don't look at me. I'm not the Bog family. I'm just, Well, I was just a humble little fisher. But, the you know, family? yeah, the Burke family, they own the factory. Rumor has it, they didn't even get the gold from the inland. Hmm. Um, I'd like to roll a knowledge geography to see if I uh, know where any fair gold deposits might be around here. Go ahead. Oh, right. So, what's your Uh, modifier? uh, I can roll my own dice, if that's alright. Okay. I got a 15. Right. You would know that the largest ore deposit is very close to Oceana View. You would also know know that there was actually... A very lucrative and very plentiful um, gold mine, very close to Outsmith, but that it ran dry recently. I see. That's why everybody picked up and moved out of here. 
Well, what? possibly. One of the main reasons. Well, only some of us moved out. Rest of us ain't got the cash to move out. Closest city is um, Oceana View over that way. Then we got ring, uh, wing rest down there, and yeah, we ain't got the kind of cash to live in any of those places. Ha, huh, poor people. Well, well, if you ask me, it's not about the gold, it's about the experience and brighter beaches than this one. Uh, yeah. The thing is, it's difficult to get out of Artsmouth without gold. Perhaps you're just taking the wrong paths. Did you Trust just call me, buddy, it, ain't, it, ain't, uh, it ain't by choice. If it Did were up to me, it? I would have taken this old boat here out to sea long ago and just sailed off. And you said the boat was in pretty terrible condition, right? Yep. Um, well, unfortunately, I don't have any kind of crafting or anything. The most I've got is mending, and that wouldn't do, that wouldn't do more than just a board. We'd also have to take care of the barnacles, and actually, I could do something about the barnacles at least. Um, I- I'm going to use my wild empathy on the barnacles. <laughs> well, maybe you, uh, you might want to take a, a visual look at the uh, at the boat first. I just sent a screenshot. Let's see this. It's a bit fuckered. Mm. It's fine. Oh, sure. It'll definitely sail. <laughs> it's fine. It'll float. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Still, I know I can't do much, but I, I could at least get the barnacles off. <laughs> That's more than fu- uh, fair payment for uh, a little bit of information. <laughs> the guy looks at as the barnacles uproot themselves and he stares as they scuttle over, uh, on, well, roll into the water and then he goes, Guy, it's okay. They were living here now. Uh, Sides, so this old ship ain't going anywhere. If I want to sail, I gotta have to... Uh, Either build or buy a new one. Uh, it was getting too hot for my sweatshirt. Getting hot in here, so hot. So Could jump just... right on the table, cat. That's why I've got another D and D T-shirt underneath. <laughs> Fucking nerd. You crazy Americans send you. That's why. Your knee to that's why you're hot to begin with. <laughs> so hot. Well, no matter how hot it is, I'll always be the hottest in the room. <laughs> Look, my girlfriend thinks I'm pretty hot sure it. that's me. Anyway, moving along. Yep. So, yeah, um, I- I'm going to, uh, as a bit of parting words, I'm going to uh, just leave him with a nugget of knowledge. Uh, You shouldn't be so quick to cast away your dreams. You might catch something something right wrong when you've got something right in your box all the while. Oh, shut the fuck up, you hippie. The guy's just gonna (laughs) sigh and give you a patronizing smile and wave at you as you go away. You fucking hippie. (laughs) I mean, I can't deny that. I have hugged a tree. Is it was it an underwater tree? N- no. So, where do you go from here, Ron? Anyway, um, so this factory. I, I-, I want to take a look at this factory. All right, you go down to the factory. You find it recently disturbed. 
Meaning you can see that it had heavy rusted chains on it and at least three or uh, three locks. But they've all been removed. Oh, well, looks like somebody's already beaten me to the punch. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger, adventurous. Hmm. well I'm just going to take a quick look in not actually go in just take a quick peek around one of the corners you can spot something it looks like Uh, the hooves of uh, of a pony well, you all opened the doors. I guess that is we true. We did. We know. It's actually a detail we did forget. We forgot to close it. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> 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 well, that all proves right. that we that proves that we went in there though to them. Yep. Anyway, like hey. I said, you spot the hoofs of a uh, of a pony lying uh, lying in there, not moving. He's dead, Jim. They're all dead. You poke him with a stick? Well, you're like kind of far forward. away f- uh, to do the pokey thing. Because someone uh, sent him a screenshot because this is one thing I can't send a screenshot of. I I got it. Um, I got okay. it. Just yeah. chill. Because that, my background is still perfect. Now that Skype Everything is... Everything else is just the background. Okay. We get it, Ben. You like to use toasters instead of computers. <laughs> toast, though. All toasters. Toast, toast, toast. There we go. Is that, is that okay. good, Fish? That's that. Well, that's, that's funny. Okay. Is All it right, blurry? Yeah. Uh, it's blurry um, from just that, I see these hooves. And uh, I see that things have been disturbed enough already. I, I really don't feel like disturbing them anymore and being blamed for any of it so uh, i'm just gonna turn around for a minute just look for the most populated area and go there and start asking questions well you go to the town square there aren't a lot of ponies out but well there aren't a lot of ponies out and the ones that are out look hostile they all greet you with sneering or uh, or Oh, oh, weary eyes. Quick, Hoon's AFK. Let's leave him and ditch his town. Hmm. Suppose I'll introduce myself to one of them at least, or at least try. I'm going to send you a screenshot for your choices of conversational partners <laughs> choices you're spoiled so many choices uh how long have we been asleep since when we got back By you've now? been asleep for like 20 minutes oh, okay cool so still yeah. passed out got it yeah. Well, yeah, the total left is kind of cute, but everybody has like these black eyes. It's kind of creepy. All, they're all tentaponies. Oh, they got that well. outsmart look. <laughs> <laughs> look, they just haven't slept in a really long time. <laughs> well, they kind of look like that too. Well, I mean. Green's not a creative color, so let's go there. <laughs> you want to go to the green it's guy? Not a creative color. Right. You go yes. to the green guy, and he immediately looks very, in a very hostile manner at you and goes, "What you want, stranger?" Um, I was just curious as to whether anybody knew if I was just curious about this uh, factory here. Um, stumping a lot of bad stuff into the ocean and seeing as listen pal 
If anybody knows anything about that factory, it ain't none of your business. Now I advise you go check in with the inn, get your little rest, and get on out out, Smith. Well, that pretty much seals the deal. Yeah, fine. Go to the end. Just leave without saying another word. He obviously doesn't want to talk to me. <laughs> Screw you, hippies. I'm that going home. Too. He would want to talk to him. <laughs> I'm in the tentacle. Put my best foot. Uh, I put my best foot forward for him, and they were just like, "Nah, fuck you. Get out of here. No. You <laughs> dick. Your mother sucks best in hell." Well, you go to the inn. And I greeted with less hostility. Did I miss anything? Uh, no, just fish meeting green guy. Oh. Alright. It was a barrel of laughs. Uh, you know, I have D&D &D once a week Sunday evening. When do people annoy me with stuff? Sunday evening. Once a week yep. Sunday evening. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Because they know you're free. It... <laughs> Yeah, I've got nothing better to do. You just play D and D, whatever. Anyway, that's not that's not going to take up much of his time. Not at all. Anyway, it does, like certainly not going to take up a quarter. You? Certainly not going to take up one sixth of his day. Quick, call to uh, quick talk to Nightwish. <laughs> ask, her to, ask her to sing for you. Sing I'm the song sorry. of her people. Sing the song of her people. <laughs> it's just the first thing that I think her name is. Jesus Christ, Effie, and I thought you were joking. Before I was joking, and now somehow it got stuck in my head. You've known the guy for like, name you've known the guy for like over two years now. You know he's not joking. Good point. <laughs> Zephy yeah. is quite physically incapable of joking. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm quite physically incapable of lying. I can joke. My jokes are just bad. <laughs> Anyway. It's mostly because lying and joking come from the same part of the brain. <laughs> yeah, anyway. And I think yours have atrophied. They're about to fall off. Anyway, nope. I, w I wanted to talk to the pony because... Well, I'm sleeping. I want to wake up eventually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he, he's... Wave's gonna walk up to the person at the counter. Alright. The pony at the counter. You're gonna walk up oh. to the griffin? Sure, why not? Guess that's the person at the counter? Yeah. Walk up to the Griffin and just sit on the stool and Hit. just. Okay, no, that's good. You know, how to do's and hellos and greetings and such. The Griffin's gonna nod back at you and go, So, how long are you staying? Just for the day. I don't need one uh, bed for the night so far. All right. Well, I'm no. actually. I was that. Oh, sorry. Don't let me interrupt. No, he just he just said all right. Then go on. <laughs> okay. We don't well, like um... your kind here. <laughs> Would it be possible for me to get some fit? Um, no, no fish. Uh. Do you have any uh, cat? No, no kelp. Not eating anything out of that ocean. Um, land food? <laughs> the guy looks behind himself and, and goes, We got some meat. I mean, if that's what you eat on land, then I'll take some of your land food. <laughs> <laughs> He just gives oh, him fish. One land food, please. He immediately gives him fish because <laughs> they eat fish on land. <laughs> well, he gives you a luckily not foul smelling brew of some sort. But it is a very bland looking thing that's probably edible it smells faintly of meat has something green floating in it 
I mean, usually when the uh, wave eats something, it's not for flavor. So, chow down. <laughs> Yeah, it's usually for the drug. It's usually for the the drugs and toxins that's in it. Yeah, yep. man. All right. Bruh, you know nothing. Anyway, so as he's, um, I, I don't think I'd say enjoying his meal. Um, he he's going to uh. Just, you know, ask more questions, see what this person knows about, um, you know, local area, the factory, and just, you know, chat back and forth with them about ways to get rid of the pollution. <laughs> he is not going to seem very talkative. He's not directly hostile like the other guy was, but it's obviously not his favorite subject. You don't get much out of him. Okay, okay. Well, I guess he'll finish up the food and then just... I don't know. Just just lie on the ground, flopping? <laughs> Gasping for no. air? Flash yet. Um, but I don't know, just hang out for a bit. Just, you know what? I'm going to read a book. I think those are fun. <laughs> As you pull out your book and sit for a while, read a few pages, suddenly the bartender puts down a mug of ale for you. It was the best oh. of apples. It was the worst of apples. God damn it. <laughs> Uh, by this time, I'm sure that uh, enhanced diplomacy has worn off. Yep. So, he'll look up at the barkeep and just, hey, bruh, thanks. He's gonna look disinterested at you and just nod behind you. He's gonna look in the direction that the barkeep nodded toward. And he's going to see the uh, the dark blue tenter pony sitting behind him, raising her glass to him. She looks drunk. And she looks like she uh, she hasn't been sober for a few years. <laughs> I know the feeling. He's <laughs> going to raise his mug and just skull and just take a hearty drink. <laughs> She's going to give a small smile and just try to drown her sorrows. He looks back to his book. She's gonna go back to her drinking. Lines and just look back over and just try and go back to a couple of lines and look back over and sigh and then just close his book. <laughs> He's going to take his drink. And sit next to the, um... Tenta pony. Oh, yeah. Uh, I had a word for how drunk she was, but either way. Um, inebriated. Yeah, sure. The inebriated individual. <laughs> and, and say thank you for the drink and that kind of thing. And initiate small talk. Go! She's going to give that small, tired, drained smile of hers and raise a glass to you again and go, It's my pleasure. I was just supposing you might be with the other travelers. Other travelers? Is that that card I saw back behind the, the, the corner of the place, bruh? She nods. They're staying in the inn. Came in late last night. Probably sleeping right now. Well, I don't know about you, 
that thing looks awful familiar to me. I just can't quite place it. <laughs> Probably and as media walks out, Night Sky is going to nod Apparently Sleep water. walks out of her room. Yep. Night Sky is going to nod to water. That's one of them. Maybe you know her. Hi, Night I, Sky. What's going on? Begins. Media found a fish. Hey. That's offensive. <laughs> I I see you I see you found uh, one of the few fish in here that isn't totally uh, sick. Uh huh. I figured he might be with you. Don't you need to sleep? That's it. Come on, guys. I'll, I'll have to sleep on the cart. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why? And then suddenly something will take in his head and he'll just stand up, just bolt straight up and just, you! <laughs> nice guy is going to you flail and fall off the seat. Me. Well, I was taking care of myself and taking care of nature, man. And y'all took off on me without even a word, man. How could you? Last I heard, you were wandering into the sea. Wait, did Night Sky just leave? Well, she f she flailed when he's, uh, and fell out of her seat when Fish suddenly stood up like that and started yelling. Yes. Oh. I would I would leave. <laughs> you yeah. obviously have a history. He just started yes. flailing. She flies ten feet back. Yep. Yeah, so now she's sitting. Well, she's not even sitting on the, uh, on the bench. She's sitting on the ground, cradling her uh, her mug of ale like a newly born. I have days like that, too. Chill. Chill, <laughs> Waste Winter. You're scaring Night Sky. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm good. She looks down at Ale and drinks a little. Keeps <laughs> sitting there, staring, trembling a little. I'm okay. Luck, 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 luck. I'm just gonna go give her a hug. <laughs> She's gonna stop trembling as you hug her. Yay! Hugs make everything better. Except for when they don't. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, you're still asleep. <laughs> How All are right. you not asleep? Uh, because I'm going to end up having to take a point of exhaustion until we get going out of this town so that I can sleep on the cart. <laughs> what if I just say, no, you can't sleep on the cart. There's stuff there. Hold on. Like, how are you going to say you're going to leave already? Like, there's this factory, man, and it's doing some mad stuff, bruh. Look, like, when the it's... others wake up, we can tell you about the factory, but not now. So In... you're wearing that. Inconspicuous. <laughs> Having all the fun without me, leaving me high and dry, just... <laughs> I am dry, I get it. So much fun. I'm gonna benefit. grab my snacks for this. Yes. But, you know, you're always high and dry, though. I forget what the reason was. What was the reason for why he left? For why we left him? Or why he left us? Because he, he said didn't he leave you. Well, he left you to get some breakfast, and then you left him. Just because she wasn't there when you took off. Well, meta-wise, we left him because he said he couldn't join the game anymore. No, because... that's not what I meant. Anyway, I don't remember but... the reason behind why Wave Splitter... So, basically, we just we just ran off without Wave Splitter. We just ditched him, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Y'all just ran <laughs> off without him. <laughs> yep. I thought it. I thought we. I thought we were going with the reason was that you just didn't want to be tied down to, like, dude doing stuff. I thought he queen. literally swam the fuck off, because that's how it was explained to me. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's how it was explained to me. I think that's too. what I remember. Yeah. <laughs> I well, remember look, him ditching us, yeah. Look, he was probably really high. It's not his fault. <laughs> I, I wasn't that's high exactly yet. his fault. He went to get breakfast and he came back a day later and we were gone. I mean, what's the guy gonna do? Hey. Munchies, man. 
We thought right. you left because you didn't want to be part of the group anymore, Wastewater. When did I ever say that, bro? I, I love you. We even you got guys. a replacement for you and everything. We woke up <laughs> and you were gone. Replacement. <laughs> We woke up, and you were gone. Well, I'm sorry that I've got morning duties to attend to, bruh. The world needs her love and care, bruh. We we waited for hours. You never showed up, so we moved on. <laughs> we declared you dead. We, we just Without forgot you. <laughs> we went fuck you hippies and we left <laughs> yeah that sounds like you guys you jerks it's like in the Wing Commander you... movie you died and we pretended you never existed are you are you joining the group again no y'all are joining <laughs> I mean uh, we'll have to talk to We'll have to talk to Uda about that one, but that's because that's up to him. Why is it up to me? Because you're the one leading this expedition. What? Since when? Since always. No, it's terrible. It's, that's a terrible idea. It's certainly not me. Just leave that. Since who's like a... play, I didn't want to. <laughs> okay, fine. I, I... Look. Why are people because surprised? Because really, by this? your choices after that are the big one that has no clue of what's going on, media nope. or permafrost. Nope and Look. nope. Strong leaders. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look, your best choice out of all of these is really the penguin. Look, strong leaders <laughs> do not take power; they have power thrust upon them. <laughs> I am willing to, to make that. I am willing to make that sacrifice for the group. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to sell all of you. Let's be fair here. First of all, I'm going to sell all of you. Look, Uda is the Uda is the quote unquote leader of <laughs> of the group that we have right now, and and he gets all of his and he takes orders from only one other person. And that's thinner. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to look at the mug on the table that he took a sip from. And look at you. And look at her. And see the way that you're all acting. And just... Leave it there. Bro, this is good stuff, but maybe a bit too heavy for me. <laughs> he says ingesting a... A pound of bath salts directly into the nose. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I I'm just taking the needle, shoving it directly into my nostril, and just squeezing it and just snorting terribly deeply. No. Well, my friend Media, I'm glad I'm back. <sighs> so glad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, no. Um,. He, the the capsule in his mouth is going to shift, and he's going to push it around with his tongue, and, and then he's going to walk out the door and just walk go into the, the ocean and leave. No, oh. go to the cart, shake it up. I'm shake actually it up. going to shake the cart. Just that won't wake for me whatever. up. In the meantime, I'm just consoling Night Sky. <laughs> You're just shaking the card for no reason? Pretty much. God damn it, dude. Being a fucking prick. <laughs> Seriously. Look, I'm just glad that I have now officially made uh, Fiener the, the party leader. Yes. Only in your mind. <laughs> Look, don't, well, that's a don't good deny, idea. We don't have deny that the going. penguin has more common sense than the rest of us combined. I wonder. Clearly, it's Uda, I love and then that Uzko, penguin. and then me, and the it's on the hierarchy ladder. It's not you; it's Finner. Leadership. What are you talking about? Well, it's takes, because well, Uda, me, me, Usko, and then you, Finner, and then Pamafras. Can I just? No, no. Finner is at the top. 
followed by yeah. followed by carbon copy. Also, I find it adorable <laughs> that Permafrost thinks Finner is taking orders from her. <laughs> now look, it the hierarchy goes like this: Finner, then carbon copy, and that's and it. That's else. where it stops. That's yep. basically it. Yeah. Box Fair stops enough. with carbon copy. Well, I'm not gonna wake up if you, you know, just rattle the wagon a bit. <laughs> that thing is sturdy. I mean, Whatever. it did just carry like five massive boxes of gold, so it's pretty sturdy, yeah. I gotta be honest, I I thought about just firing a crossbow bolt in his general direction. No, we only carry we only carried four of the boxes of gold. One of them is still there. Right. Yes. We only carried nine tons of gold outside. We didn't want to appear to be greedy. You know what? Fainer's going to go out out of the room and uh, get some food from the wagon. He's going to... Wave's just going to watch the thing and climb into the wagon. <laughs> God. Is going is to open the bed. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> He just jumps into the wagon. You could probably take yogurt. I'll take. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Yogurt works. I'm sure that'll be okay for for pet digestion. Is it? Is it frozen yogurt? It's not. It's normal yogurt. Dang it. Just put it in. Just just note in the loot pile that you took a piece of yogurt. Look, it's it's frozen yogurt. It just wants you to let it go. Not a piece, a, a piece pound of, of yogurt. Well, a pound. So. All right. Let's see. A whole pound of yogurt. <laughs> it's a penguin. <laughs> he has to eat. Look, Look, he needs something to wash down all those scrolls. Look, I bought like, I bought 20 pounds of yogurt. I'm, I mean, someone has to eat it. He'll eat half a pound, all right? Fair Look, enough. Actually, half, half, a pound pa- half a pound of yogurt, three pounds of scrolls. That's his diet. <laughs> it's only... uh, how about a uh, quarter pound? Yeah, yeah, it, it does. You lose weight pretty fast. Just put it down so we know when the yogurt is out, <laughs> yeah, is out I and I can buy a new one. Look, he he has to make room for that extra skull that he knows that she's going to try and shove down his throat. Yeah. I don't have any scrolls to shove down his throat. You should have bought scrolls. Oh, Pete! I tried to, but there were none that were, that were compatible. Should have just made scrolls. Yeah, bra. Yeah, there's no scrolls in the forest. Scrolls. He's, he anyway. doesn't have scribes. He doesn't have scribes so he can't make scrolls. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, something. To mention, the, the only reason I'm shoving them down his throat is so that he can learn the spell. <laughs> Will something more happen in the next hours? Probably not. Not unless Wavesfield manages to get into contact with Uda. Uda is nah. sleeping. Uda needs sleep. got distracted by the penguin. Also, Media has fallen asleep again, but now she's just leaning up against Night Sky. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, she just fell while asleep being... on top of Night Sky, and they're just while laying there on, top, on the floor. She's just leaning. <laughs> while being nowhere near Night Sky. Beautiful. I'm right next to her. No, you're not. Yeah, he is. I... Yeah, I yes. am. That's weird. You were here for me. Huh. Really? Well, that's weird. I was that's... right next to her at that table. Happens sometimes well... if you lose connection to the server for a bit. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, Night Sky looks a little quashed and insecure. After uh, after a while, she and the other bar patron helps you into uh, back into your room. Then they go back to no. their respective tables. Don't leave. And then she, then she just grabs Night Sky, and Night Sky can't leave. Just <laughs> stuck in her grasp. <laughs> yeah, she just she wraps her hooves around Night Sky, and Night Sky goes, oh, look. And then she's actually, stuck. I just, I just thought she grabbed the entire body, and she'd just be stuck there. <laughs> well, this is her life now. Like a body, like a body pillow. Oh. Yes. She just lies there like a very disgruntled cat. Just lying there, very tense, 
front hooves dangling off the bed, looking at you, looking out the door, not wanting to be there, but not being able to leave. I'm sure after a while I'm going to be limp enough where she can just pull herself out. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. Not at all. Oh my. Anyway, Uda will, Uda will wake up, I want to say, at about 1 p.m. Yeah, that's probably about when Permafrost would wake up, too. Yeah. So you can, since you we were can both move, asleep on the wagon ride back. So you can move Night Sky out of the room. I, it's, so, she, I wouldn't have, like, tried to trap her. Yeah. So as soon as, as soon as it's lunchtime, I'll be awake to make food. And I imagine Waze Flitter is just inside the bar again. <clears throat> yep, gonna wake up and start to die. inside the bar goes back to drinking <laughs> having completely forgotten everything of, that had happened with the exception of meeting up with the, the 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 fuzzy one and just confronting them finally and just ha ah, sip yes. so yeah now Permafrost is going to commune with Fiener so that she can learn her or memorize her spells for the day <laughs> including the two new Two new slots, which I'm preparing Detect Poison and uh, Charm Person in. Nice. Use Detect po- a Poison on, on Innsmouth. Everything glows up like Detect Christmas. Poison. <laughs> okay, let, let's see. Let's see. Cooking. Cooking. <gasps> Why am I rolling good for cooking all the time? <laughs> I'm sorry. What I heard was Detect Poison. Poison. Oh, sorry. Poison. Detect Poison. Detect Poison. <laughs> It's poison. It's poison. 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 Drink that poison. This man is clearly poisoned. <laughs> poison. Anyway. This, well, is, I... this is Timmy. This is Detective Timmy. Well, I made... Detect poison. <laughs> I, I made food. Hey, and apparently, it's very edible. Coops Again. There? I don't think she's there. I don't think so. No, I don't see her on the call. She's Darn not in the call. Nope. Oh, well. I think anyway. she said she was gonna hang out with her grandma today. Oh. And if uh, her other her thing. other slightly less religious grandma. Uh, okay, here's the thing. If nothing else happens at lunchtime, I'm gonna prepare potions for the next uh, four hours. That's two potions. Yes. So yeah, Permafrost wakes up after spending some time talking to Fiendler. I guess Carbon Copy is still asleep. Yep. He is stubbornly still asleep, especially as you start uh, shuffling about and getting off the bed. Don't leave me, Fiener. Well, I'll, 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 let, I'll leave, you know, Fiener in the room so that, uh, you know, he's for, for carbon copy. <laughs> He'll step out of the room and see Wave Splitter just sitting there, staring. He's going to feel the eyes on the back of his head and just slowly turn around with this dead-eyed expression. Oh, it's Hi. the penguin lady. Well, this was unexpected. No, what was unexpected is you fools leaving me. Just while I was taking care of my business, like you were just taking care of your business with your... What, what, one second. Penguin. Us leaving you... No, no, you left us. I had to swim in the ocean. <laughs> That's what <laughs> people do. But, but, but wait, wait, wait a minute. Who swims in the ocean daily? Aquatic Some creatures. sort of compulsion. <laughs> well, you're some sort of fish. Oh, this is great. Fucking He's amphibious. He's going to raise his hoof and point at his own face. Well, it's not like, oh, I don't know. You could have told some pony. <sighs> I did. It's not my fault you don't speak awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oh. I think she does. I do. I speak. I speak. Yeah, Terran. she speaks Aquan. She <laughs> speaks common, Sylvan, Aquan, Abyssal, Draconic, and Infernal. Well, you just speak with the, the, it's your good. accent, man. It's your accent. We can understand well, that. Well, I'm glad that no one can ever read my journal then, because the journal is all in Terran. 
Oh no! Right. If only uh, I so had a. like comprehend languages or some shit. <laughs> Dude, yeah, good it's luck with like that. When everything's also written in ciphers. God, you are just a little prissy bitch. Yes, I am. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, if you need food, it's in the cot. Just get it. Yeah. Yeah. Sparrow Frost will then, you know, get off of the table and make her way towards the. Uh, cart because clearly wave splitter is not in a good mood today <laughs> get off the table uh, i'm not in a good mood i just saw the, the the destruction of ocean by the leggy folk man it's a terrible sight the school will roll out of bed feeling particularly particularly well rested and quickly adjust his hp total so it's actually correct that's <laughs> <laughs> what you do when you wake up Look, man, you just gotta adjust that HP anyway, total. I made, I made, I made sandwiches for a twenty in cooking. They're really good yeah. sandwiches. Oh yeah. Farmer Frost will sandwich. take a sandwich. You can hardly taste the red. <laughs> I'm going to uh, smell these you make amazing her way back sandwiches. <laughs> going to get up and I'm going to go and get me some sandwiches. I'm surprised you can smell anything over the pollution. <laughs> That guy's gonna wave at Permafrost as she walks back and go, Morning. Morning? Hey, morning. Afternoon, maybe. I don't know. I I was tired. It's morning <laughs> somewhere. Five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's I literally a joke. That joke. It's high noon somewhere in the world. <laughs> it's 12 o'clock! It's 12 o'clock! Anyway. How do you want to do this? Yeah, Chalk Chalkle gets like a, a half a loaf of bread, like full of meat and butter and shit. <laughs> like for him, that's a normal sandwich. Yes. Yep. So yeah, she goes back and talk to talk to Wave Splitter. So what exactly brings you here? I'll be right back. Give me just a second. Uda, please <laughs> tell me you made something to eat, so I don't have to consume the. Souls of the Innocent. Matter that they sell I've here. Made, I've made sandwiches. <laughs> Excellent. I heard Wait. there was food. We have yogurt. Sandwiches. Sandwiches and yogurt. Carbon copy lands on top of Usko's hat. Good morning, copy. Also in the... Good morning. In the back of the cart, you can hear, like, violent bubbling and hissing as something's brewing. <laughs> no, no, you do you. Um, also, could I take a second sandwich to Wave Splitter? He seems to have wanted to come along with us in the end. Oh, where was he? Feels like I haven't He's seen him in like the end two right days. He's shouting like at Permafrost for <laughs> like, something. Feels like I haven't seen him for two days. Is he avoiding me? <laughs> no, I'll just give... <laughs> yeah, I'll give you an extra sandwich for that guy. I don't care. Thank you. <laughs> I, I didn't even notice he was gone. <laughs> oh my god, did, U uh, did Uda make a tiny little sandwich for Carbon? Yes, that would be adorable. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Aww! Oh, no, he gets a full-on sandwich. He gets, <laughs> a, a, he gets a normal size sandwich. He gets a normal size sandwich, did. but with miniature cutlery. <laughs> <laughs> and to everybody's surprise, go. he actually Practice manages to finish it. Dinner. He's very cool at the end of it, but he finishes it. <laughs> yes. The worst. Anyway, Fish was trying to say something. Um, no. Oh. I mean... Hater will pick up carbon copy since he's clearly spherical. Oh, <laughs> I will Too sit down at the table and then place a delicious looking sandwich in front of Wave Splitter. Good morning, Wave Splitter. Good afternoon, bruh. Fuck. What time is it? <laughs> it's definitely not 12 o'clock, actually. It is 12 o'clock now. By uh, about 1 p.m., I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, about no. 1 p.m. It's a little after time. I uh, know, bruh. It seems like you lost track of... Uh... Just, you know, patience and stuff, bruh. 
Well, whose fault is that? Clearly not ours. I'm sorry, but in um, order to weave the will of the world, I've got to be a part of the world. Per- permafrost, why don't you go eat your sandwich in your room? Go to your room. I'm perfectly fine right here. <laughs> go to your room, young lady. Permafrost, go to your room. <laughs> you yes, can't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck your mom. <laughs> Wait, what did he say about my mom? I, I, I just responded to Hoon. Oh, he's about to say. Something about coitus. I don't You're know. not my real dad. No, but I'm fucking your mom. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So, the smell of the sandwich has finally gotten to a, a way of... He's just going to just... Almost like his hoof is sneaking up to it just to slowly grab it. It's the very... Usko will subtly push the sandwich closer to Wave Splitter. <laughs> and as if in slow motion, he will grab it and put it closer and closer to his mouth, just slowly and deliberately. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> this is like feeding a very, very, uh, a very scared cat. It's adorable. Usko will pretend like all of this is normal. <laughs> It totally is. Uh, and after the first bite, his, his movements become uh, much more natural and swifter because it's a lot better than the slot that he was served earlier today. But it's food. It's good food. It's tasty. It By the way, it, the, bartender not... doesn't, uh, the bartender doesn't like Uda anymore. He's running him out of business. <laughs> Why well, if he served good shit? Anyway. Um, no, I'm not yeah, serving shit. Uh, That's why I'm running him out of business. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So. <sighs> so. Um, I hear from uh, media and them that you guys are responsible for breaking into that uh, factory, bruh. Yes, we are. Oh, yes. That. Usko well, we could have used your help with that. Deeply. Yeah, yeah, we got to kill some zombies. It was pretty fun. And he says we're all he's outside. Yes, <laughs> Usko sighs deeply and just puts his muzzle on his hoof. <sighs> do, do you not understand the concept of subtlety? <laughs> Who are we talking Rule to? Rule number one of Fight Club. You don't talk about Fight Club. What's a Her, Fight Club? Um, who, are you, who are you talking to? It's a book. No, who are you talking to? I'm talking to the both of you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you mean, uh, well, uh, I mean, I was the one who broke the part time. I'm, I'm not talking to you, Ashley. I'm talking to these two fucking dinguses. I, to be fair, I only okay. brought it up because Wave Splitter brought it up. And I only brought it up because fucking media can't keep her mouth shut. And I only answered because Wave Splitter asked a question. Take it away, Robin. Usko <laughs> face desk. <laughs> uh, no one else is, is apparently a big enough nostalgic critic nerd. No. Eh, not yeah. anymore. Oh no, I, I I get it now. Bat nipples. I uh, never was. <laughs> Why am I chaotic anyway. good? What the heck? Why am I chaotic good? So, Usko's forehead will make contact with the table. Really, Usko? If you keep oh, doing that, you're going to suffer some ah. sort of injury. Go to your room. Waves on. Like, as I told you before, and... I will do no such thing. Fina, take her to her room. <laughs> take her to the dungeon. 
take her to her room. Vayner is just going to stand there and, and uh, mouth penguin words at you. <laughs> right, you get you get on that, Fiener. <laughs> What's Fiener you saying? Right because that. Carbon Copy can actually translate. Wait, what's this? Uh, what's he's just like, uh, he's it's more of his mouth. Huge! I can't what? move this fat bitch. <laughs> no, that's exactly what you doing. Why don't you move him? <laughs> huh? Hmm? I don't see you doing it. It's always Finn or do this, Finn or do that. Maybe Finn or doesn't want to do that. Hmm? The penguin has that. a good point. Man with big hat. Uh, Finner, you have to understand. We we trust you on a basic level of maturity. <laughs> Despite the fact that as a penguin, your lifespan caused you to mature at the age of three, uh, we expect we can fully yeah. trust you to be more mature than whatever she is to you. Despite the fact that she is literally four times your age, five times rather. Carbon copy will tap permafrost. Six I'm sorry, times. you kind of cut out there. I couldn't get all that. Your penguin, despite being at least like 12, 12 to 16 years younger than you, is by far the fucking adult between the two of you. Yep. Carbon copy will tap help. permafrost's horn. Let us go to the bedroom, be uh, girl. Yes. All right, all right. Wait, what did he say? Go to the bathroom? I said go to the bedroom. Oh, oh, he's telling no, me no. to go to the bed. No. No, take her to the stalls. Take her to the stalls behind the end, behind the inn. I he thought he said he needed to go to the bathroom. No. No. It is obvious we, uh, we are not wanted here. Might as well give them what they want. Otherwise, something is going to break out, and I don't think it's going to be cholera. <laughs> All right, then. Let's calm Carbon, down with you the are diseases. Fully, you are fully from... And Finner, too, you're fully permitted to stay. It's just that I need a break from permafrost, and I have important things to do now. I have to be a responsible, fully functioning adult, and I can't do that when I'm trying to beat a certain unicorn to death with a mug. Bruh. Bruh. He's going to put his hoof on the table and just slide it over to Luzco uh, and just... Just, just just, take his other hoof and just pat him on the shoulder and just be like, bruh, if you ever need a minute, just, you know where to find me. He lifts up his hoof and reveals his small little capsule. I think he's Responsible, <laughs> fully functioning adult. <laughs> adult is that? I'm sorry. Look, this is why the penguin is. This is why the penguin is the leader of the party. <laughs> you have to understand, Wave Splitter. Uh, I didn't encourage the party to abandon you. I encourage. I was trying to protect you from this. <laughs> I didn't vote for him. Hashtag not my penguin. Going to tap. All he's going to do is tap his lower lip. Hey, leader. In response. Look, I just want to. I just want to go home. Then go home. I can't. I don't have the money to go home. <laughs> I don't have a home anymore. Oh, well, you we could literally... have the money to go home. You can't handle the home. <laughs> Look, it is all what, know. at most for the most horrible price gouge, fifty gold. Look, and that's if you want to ride down to your own home in the lap of luxury with a personal harem and I don't know fifty kegs of fine wine. Look, we <laughs> all know how Mia is gonna end up on a self-built raft, calling her chest Winston, or Wilson. Yep. Wilson was it? Yes. <laughs> That'll happen to her. <laughs> Wilson, uh... you can just take. Five gold! In fact, Usko will pull out like five gold from his purse and put it on the table. You can take this money and go home in the same fashion you got here. I'm not even sure why you arranged something with a military ship when you could have just gone on average civilian transportation. Do you mean there are more than one trip in the world? Fuck! 
Oh shit, man. Fuck. Never would have guessed. I put the damper on my plan. And he was going to punctuate his fuck by throwing his hooves up in the air. <laughs> oh, man. You broke him. You broke the cleric. <laughs> you broke the man of God. God it's too wood. early in the morning I'm for just these sitting two. The... I once again pull out my popcorn. <laughs> Where do you get that? <laughs> I, uh, I that. save it. Barbara Frost is going to rub her brow. Cabin Cubby is going okay, to fine. join I, another I popcorn. I, yeah, I share it if anyone uh, needs it, like Ugantufu, whose name I will never pronounce properly. Well, clearly it's too dangerous in the water. Clearly it's too dangerous to even try to sail right now with cutthroat with... out there. I was going to call him cutthroat carry for some reason. What? I don't know. Oh, so, um, yeah. Clearly, it's too dangerous to even sail around, to even try and sail if Cutthroat uh, me is out media, there. Media, media, media. There, there's one boat. One boat. One. One fucking you know, boat. Now, despite her previous argument, media does make a point. And we are kind of the uh, ocean. stuck together, if you haven't noticed. The ocean is a very large place, and it is much bigger than one boat. Oh, then why did he come after us in the first place? It's because just one boat. It's just one area. boat, Usko. It's just one boat, Usko. He didn't it's have to be in that piracy. location. You stupid whore! <laughs> Whoa, language. What to say? That bro. wouldn't happen again. <laughs> hey, if you if you have if you haven't forgotten, we are kind Who's of that? on this uh, mission from yeah from God. No one yes. has to stay. <laughs> Media's prime motive is to go home. Guess what, Media? You can go home, Media. I'd say the current set of circumstances make this rather difficult. <laughs> anyway. No, I don't! Just let her build her raft. Go <laughs> crazy. Get Bro. up. Chill. It's okay. You're a man of your god, and I'm sure your god understands patience. Patience could be a virtue for you. Just, 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 when you're out of patience, just have some more patience, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. You're gonna, you're gonna make him swear off his religion. It's just, what kind of loving God would make people like you? I'm out. I'm out. I'm gone. <laughs> See, the this world is why is we to worship a neutral good God. <laughs> the world is fucked. This is why I worship the goddess of death. This is why. Exactly. <laughs> Everything he ends. I'm only a open. Everything ends. That's, that's all he. That's all he really wants right now. He just wants. He just wants his God to grant to grant him the sweet release of death. <laughs> <laughs> a soft whisper. Take me now, please. God, give me patience, because if you give me strength, I will kill every motherfucker in this room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway. Uh. uh but if, anyway. Yeah, uh, can I just, can I just, um, so wait, I started brewing potions at 1 p.m. I want to try and make three, which means I'll be busy until 7 p.m. Well, that's a long time to, uh, keep your targets waiting. Yeah. I just, I just want to make sure in case something happens at an earlier moment. Fair enough. Right. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, they do. But they're too useful. Anyway. Yeah. So, to bring a whole kibosh to this, just pointing fingers and yelling and screaming at everybody else and drawing everybody's attention to us. Uh, there's like two just... people, and there's like two people that aren't part of this group. Three, if we count the bartender. Yep, and yeah, two out of those three people couldn't uh, couldn't give less of a shit about what you're talking about. 
Huh, so That's the town it. drunk is interested in us. Well, the town drunk is now worried about you. Because you're apparently decent people, but right now one of you seems to be going uh, to be very close to a mental breakdown slash murderous rampage. <laughs> the drunk thinks you had enough. It is My too God. early in the morning for Usko to put on the masquerade of a sane human being. It is not even morning. It is, it, it is well past high noon. It's early afternoon. It is too it's early. To to, it's almost time to go to sleep again. <laughs> Usko, you clearly need a drink. Do you want us to get you a drink? Um, no, because unlike you, Permafrost, I still have important things to do, and I can't go getting completely shit-faced, because I have important things to do. I understand oh, yes. this is a different yes, concept you. for doing you. All of your important I understand things to do right that you are a covering alcoholic or something, or you're just stupid. Um, will pardon me for having abandoned mid shoes. It really hurt oh, me yesterday. Oh, where? Where? <laughs> Try a little more, why don't you? Then build a <laughs> fucking bridge and get over it, woman. Wave is going to take his hooves and slam them down on the table. If you two are done ye bickering between each other, we can get back to the work that he wants to get to, which I need to get to, which we all need to get to. Bruh. Let's just sit down, calm uh-huh. down, take our and just plan our next course of action, bruh. <laughs> I'm Media's, with you. Media's gonna take a sip of her mead. Now, now that I've got the floor, bruh. This is getting quite find? entertaining. Anyone? I'm sorry? Anybody. I thought you had the floor. Yep. Yeah. And then, and then, and I and asked... then he got interrupted, and then he was PC about being interrupted, which is quite understandable. Let's not try to interrupt each other so much, shall we? Uh, I was actually just asking what happened, like, what, what, what did you find in the factory? Well, why don't we take, why don't we take that to another room? Yes, that would probably be best. That's probably the best idea. Well, I suppose the permafrost's room. Yes. He She'll gets open the up. door to her room and, and uh, yes. Hold the door open for everyone to get in. No, 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 please. I... Ladies first. Ladies first. Motherfucker, get your He's already in the here. room. All the girls are already in the room. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, Wave Splitter is going to close the door. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, and yeah, that, that, that's about <laughs> the best I can put that. This is, this is certainly a broom closet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that we have everyone in here, this is rather squishy. I'm I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, big guy. You make for an excellent perch. So, what happened at that factory? Since I know that it was you, it was you lot who went in there. There was a bunch of dead. There was a bunch of zombies, a torture chamber, and a bunch of money. We killed the zombies, left the torture chamber, and hid the money. Okay. Did you find any reason as to why there would be so much just pollution coming from that factory? Uh, It is a former mine. Uh, There's a lot of stuff. Mining is something of a filthy business. No kidding. I can attest to that. Having our refinery this close to the ocean is not a good idea for the ocean, that is. 
especially for fishing. I don't think they're doing it entirely on purpose, just didn't know too better. Well, I mean, if you're going to do something like this, at least have consideration for your surroundings. I mean, gold can't be that important to a person, can it? Excuse me, I'm going to have to to ask you to say that again. Bruh, if it's about the gold, you gotta take some consideration for the rest of the world, man. No, no, that second part you said. What was it about um something something really really weird and outlandish and stupid about gold not being that important? He's going to raise his hoof and just point at the at uh, Carvin. That's what I'm talking about. What? You gotta be like you. It's not all about material gain, bro. Right? It's about the Carbon. world. Being one with the world. Carbon will fly directly at Wave Splitter and try to see if he can land a punch. Right between his eyes. I hope so. Remember, he's flat-footed. Now just punch him in the eye. Just punch him in the eye. Nah. Carbon punch copy him is in the weak point for massive damage. <laughs> Come on, roll a crit. We just start uh, just a moment. Jesus Christ, I forgot to open Mythweavers. What the fuck? Don't forget, he's also going to get a sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> With his fist? I don't think so. No, no yeah, it sure would be like uh, one point of damage, but it'd still be one point of damage plus sneak attack. Yes. Actually, I, I already had uh, this primed, which is why I was pointing at Carbon. Um, Ray of Sickness. Also, I don't think 10 hits you. A 10 does not hit my AC, no. Nope. I wouldn't even hit my flat footed. Why are you ready to fucking gun down the breezy out of me? Whatever. Yeah, that would hit my flat footed. Explosive. Tried to attack us once, and I don't exactly fully trust him. <laughs> so you're gonna make him sick again? Oh god, that poor thing. Well, he tried to punch me. <laughs> well, you were deliberately being an asshole to him. And you prepared an attack before he tried to punch you. Yep. I don't you think that falls. That doesn't fall under self-defense anymore. But I'm you're not there, me? so whatever. Oh, hey, you're not. Uh, I'm just speaking the way of the world, bro. <laughs> you silly children. So, like, he gets shot with three. He flops going like an entire sandwich just comes out of his mouth. Yep. No. All, o- all over. Uh, all over waist litter. Yep. <laughs> no, like an actual, sa- like an actual whole sandwich. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're going back yes, to all logic. over way splitter. He falls yep. to the ground, gurgling and and whining in agony, rolling around on the floor. Oh, Herbafrost will uh, use unseen servant to pick up carbon copy and bring him to a, a place that isn't this cl- crowded ass room, because oh, clearly well. carbon needs it. All the while, the poor little thing is screaming some, uh, something in atomy speak. You mean fe- you mean Sylvan. Uh, Sylvan? Yeah, more or less. I I know it's Sylvan. It's the language of the Fey. <laughs> yeah, you'll uh, you'll be able to. Yeah, yeah, he's screaming a lot of curse words. Bell <laughs> be. Oh, poor dude. <laughs> As no, uh, permafrost uh, brings I... carbon to the cleanest place possible, the wagon. <laughs> oh, that was just cruel. <clears throat> hey, if he hadn't have flown, you saw him. He flew right at me. <laughs> he was flying right at me. He was extremely dangerous, and I had to deal with him, bruh. I just stood my ground, bruh. It's my ride. It's this little black thing flew right at me, bruh. Yeah, Why this... you gotta disrespect me, bruh? Why you gotta disrespect me? He totally had a knife on him. For some reason, I really want to see Fisher's character in like an honor duel. 
How dare you? Yeah, now bruh? I do all of a sudden. How dare you, good? <laughs> how dare you, good sir, bruh? How dare you, good bruh? Everyone betray me. I fed up with this wall. Pistol is at ten feet, bruh. <laughs> You know, typically when you when you're having a physical, when you're having essentially a scuffle, you don't start whipping off spells. That's considered uncouth. Rude. Rude. You haven't lived underwater before, bruh. <laughs> I grew, I grew up on the streets, bruh. It's fucking different. The underwater there, streets. <laughs> you do realize that as wielders of the wheels of unknown powers we have some sort of responsibility to those around us to practice our practice our abilities with care <laughs> meanwhile i'm care. out in the wagon just playing with nature <laughs> not even caring what i do you're playing god <laughs> i literally I literally put magic into little <laughs> bottles <laughs> I don't fucking give a shit. So, right. So anyway, lots of dead things, gold, torture chamber. Anything else? We're important? not glossing over this, wave splitter. You need to show some responsibility next time. <laughs> next you're going to tell him he has to be sober. <laughs> That ain't happening, bro. That's not gonna happen. If you were going to be brutally mauled, quote unquote, by an unarmed pixie, magic was not the, a spell was not the appropriate solution to this confrontation. It's not like I hurt him or anything, bro. No, you did something worse. I. <laughs> I don't see how it was worse, bro. I. How do you not understand this? Very high, bro. You inflicted <laughs> magical illness on someone else, some pony else. He'll be okay. <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> That's not the I point. Can you over the head with a bottle, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. I'll be kind of can... upset, yeah, but I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll, be... I'll be right back. Um, yeah, uh, y'all got that? Huh? I got it. Huh? Okay, let's go. But I'm not in there. Again. Really wishing that the only other responsible pony in this po in this group wasn't the lying, duplicitous sack of shit that is Uda. <laughs> hey, I'm making potions, be nice. <laughs> yes. You don't know what I can put in there. I can, yeah, you, you we could know. We can have uh, we can have some of Carbon's vomit in there. For all yeah. You know. Feed it uh, I know guy. you're not gonna poison other people's medicine because you're a responsible adult. Yeah. Well, also I don't have poison use. A responsible adult who tried to poison a glass, uh, a bottle of wine for the mayor. That's different. How so? That that was. It was you for can the mayor. see how low my you can see how low my bar of standards has has gone. Oh yeah. Low <laughs> enough to consider me a uh, responsible pony. I haven't Sometimes seen you. I'm you don't consider me responsible either. either. <clears throat> uh, you literally walk into a fight and cackle like a crazy bitch. The only time we've actually seen you do magic is to shoot a ray of frost at missing. a zombie and missing. I love how mm -hmm. you don't consider Carbon Copy a responsible adult either. I'm not sure if he's an adult. 
he, he is an adult. His He's first fake. instinct. His first instinct at starving to death was to attack a bunch of strangers and almost dying. True. That'd be true. <laughs> he may be an adult, but practice. I wouldn't call him responsible. <laughs> well, technically, he wasn't the one that was almost dying. He was the one that was throwing up in the tree. Yep. Fair enough. <laughs> because of this one. exact same spell, mind you. <laughs> because of the same exact reason. Fair enough. So I think I'm justified here. <laughs> anyway. No, I was don't gonna, think you I are. I was stopping him from attacking somebody this else. This wasn't a life or death situation. Keep it in your pants. <laughs> Fuck. Nah, man, just let it all out. In my pants. We wield a power beyond the normal, under, the normal understanding of most creatures. We should wield it with responsibility. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm mixing yeah. an extract that will literally mutate my genes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've dealt with people who wanted to create black holes. I've dealt with people who wanted to put bags of holding in chests of holding. I've dealt with people who wanted to make the world a better place by turning all of the grass in the world purple. Wave splitter. Yeah, that, that'd make life a lot better. I'm going to impart a mind-shattering revelation upon you. I don't fucking care about those people. <gasps> Bruh. <laughs> Be a grown-ass adult like you are. Be responsible, or I'll make you fucking responsible. <laughs> you know what, Fiender will go up to Wastelander's face. Do it quack a little. <laughs> Then just, you just kind of stand are, there and stare at them in uh, in awkward too silence. Too adorable to be intimidating, Fiener. I am sorry. Aww. And then Fiener will uh, very lightly just slap him with a, with his wing. <laughs> before going back to the awkward silence. And then climbing back up on top of uh, of, of uh, charcoal. <laughs> I'm not going to hit it because its owner abuses him. <laughs> but you were considering hitting the penguin? For lightly slapping you? Where well, is it? <laughs> Only lightly. He says lightly and then he casts Flame Strike. Yeah. <laughs> Killing everyone in the room. <laughs> including and himself. just walking out just through the fire and just... <laughs> Something just poking out of his back, almost like a wing of so or something. Just a really, really long sword out of nowhere. No. <laughs> uh. Anyway, can we just do I move make on? myself clear? We're moving on. Point is, something's going on with that place. There should be no. I, I don't know why there are zombies in a torture room in a mine. So, I, I want to know what's going on around here, bro. Anything we can do to take care of the ocean and, you know, take care of people around here? They seem pretty bummed. Maybe we could get a friend. Anyway. Yes, let's, like, out of character, let's, like, move on from this. Anyone? Anyone? Yes. Eh, yes. Sure. Anyone? Bueller? No. How you much act, like, as a character, do you know about this? I mean, I know... What I mean, you not as a character player, rather. Sorry. Uh, as a player? Um, yeah. As much as I've discovered? Nothing. Oh, so you know Jack Dick. All right. So I can't do, like, screen wipe expl explanation. 
Okay. <laughs> you have a little Star Wars cut. And then, oh, yep. that's how that is. All right. <laughs> Thanks for explaining it to me. As you know. As you know, your father, the king. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's this... <sighs> Fuck, I'm tired. Fuck this. We killed a lot of pe- we killed a lot of undead. We found gold. We hid it. That's about it. Fuck okay. it. I'm tired. I, 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 all of my friends are idiots. I'm, I'm gonna go get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, you have, decides you to get the drink. Drunk. Sign for that. I actually like that. That would fit in characters. Okay, it is like this, and then he just leaves. <laughs> I will ask you something non-alcoholic that won't give me fucking cholera. <laughs> you oh, you want the magic gas? You guys. I'm you going home. You will be home. given imported water, which is much more expensive than the ale. <laughs> actual, actual H2O. Vader is just going to uh, sit there on charcoal and just kind of nudge him for, so that he... You know, someone tells White Splitter. <laughs> this town could fit in in Tank Girl, where water <laughs> is a precious commodity. Oh, wait, hold on. Fuck this. I, I'm i a cleric. I look at I, I look at the bartender. All right, so where do you keep your food and water? The bartender looks a little puzzled for a moment, then uh, motions towards... This little alcove in here with the uh, with the stove. I'm going to make something that isn't fucking cholera ridden. I'll walk back into his food store, walk past him, not bothering to say a thing, and I will begin casting purify food and water on all of his. Witch! Food. He's a witch. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna <laughs> look in utter astonishment, but and then he's gonna walk up to you and go, uh. You're not allowed to touch any of the stuff in here. I'm not touching any Why of it. I'm praying at that? it. I'm not touching it. I'm just purifying it. You know. You know what would make look, it better if I'm purify? Just, I'm just praying at it. Look, purified food and water only works with tongue contact. I didn't make the rules. I just abide by them. <laughs> anyway, he fix he... everything. <laughs> he uh, he goes. Look, you want to go around and touch my food stuffs? He actually, uh, he's actually not touching any of it. He has a ten foot. Yeah, but you're on still it. in there, and you're still, you still went in there without really saying anything. You're making weird gestures. Uh, yes, in the air. and as he's talking to me, I'm still like casting. I'm still like casting the fucking spell because it's a cantrip, Orison rather. Can we have ominous Latin chanting in the background? Anyway, he's no, he still goes. Look, if you uh, if you wanna uh, if you wanna walk around in here and touch my food stuffs, If you wanna walk around in here and touch my food stuffs, I'm pro- uh, I'm probably gonna have to uh, co- to call the uh, the local guard, you know, or I could look the other way. He says, motioning with his claw. Wait, this girl will stop. I have look a at him. He confuses as this guy doesn't get how much fucking money he's just Usko just throwing at his feet. Can he I will ask take a mug, grab a mug, fill it with some of the shit water, and then like say a prayer and wave his holy symbol over it, and then just let him watch as it turns into pure water. <laughs> Can I? I have the a guy's question. gonna look at that and stare. Oh. Then he's gonna take the water and just stare a little more at it. And then it goes. Devil All water. right, carry on. <laughs> I have a question. When he says he he's gonna get the local guard, is that like singular? Is it just the one guard? Well, you don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna get the local guard. His name is Bob. He's good friends with me. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Wouldn't figure a place this small would have a guard. <laughs> well, apparently they're not doing a good job. Right. I'm gonna get the local guard. He says as he puts and puts on the guard hat. <laughs> So, what's, what's all this about that? 
was going to spend like five minutes going through and uh, blessing all of his food before he'll come back and then ask for a proper fucking meal. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, the bartender is going to, uh, well, he's going to whip him up something pretty goddamn delicious. Turns out when this guy has some good uh, things to cook with, he's actually a good cook. When his food isn't actively crawling with maggots. <laughs> yep. Yes. So, yeah, since uh, Charcoal has yet to say anything to Wife Splitter and has just been kind of awkwardly silent in there, Tina is just going to uh, lightly smack uh, I, I... I've been, <laughs> I've, I've been busy drinking. I've been busy drinking. All I've been doing this entire time. <laughs> and I'm just making heavy invitement. Uh, I'm staring at a particular crack in the wall. I'm just complicating yeah, uh, life. Well, not, since neither charcoal nor media is, is going to say anything to him. Neither no. will end up taking Wave Splitter over to the wagon for Uda to tell him. Or Permafrost, either or. I, uh, okay. Because clearly they aren't saying anything. Well, I'm, I'm busy making potions. If no one says anything to me, I'll... Well, then I guess Permafrost busy. will explain the situation. <laughs> when Permafrost talks... I can talks, Wave Splitter that... along. Yeah, when Puma first talk, all I hear is quack, 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 quack. No, Fiener is dragging Waze Butter along. God damn it. What are you trying to explain, by the way? What the fuck happened? That is what I'm trying to explain to him. Why is he... Why does he? Because Uzko is starting to explain, but then he just fucks off. Why Fuck it. I'm not, I'm not dealing with this today. <laughs> Fine. I mean, I can try to explain to him when you bring him outside. Yes. Uh, I guess I'm going back to the cart. Yep. Shaking the cart again as I go, uh, as I uh, brush against it, because I see a very particular leggy creature just crawling around in the grass. Usko is stress eating. Don't disturb my potion making by, like, rattling the card. It's dangerous as fuck. <laughs> what if something explodes? It's, it's totally purposefully on accident. <laughs> well, Permafrost is still trying to take care of Carbon in there, who is still vomiting his guts out, apparently. His poor little abused guts. Aww. He'll be okay. Hey, poor dude. He's more full of piss and vinegar than that spell will take out of him. <laughs> I just realized, even though I don't have poison use, I can actually make your day worse by just giving you an extract to drink. No, I'm good. Because if you fail your DC, no, you I, get I don't sick. want your drugs, I've got mine. Well, not an extract, but a mutagen, I mean. Yes. Also, Kara, we should probably yeah. move Waste Blitter out to the... Uh... Right. I, guess I'm going out I to forgot the for a moment that that's not a thing. This uh, penguin do. seems to have superhuman strength and be able to push, pull, and drag me. Anyway, how late is it? Um, ah. I'm gonna say that you're done doing your your things, Morty. So it's wow. So it took six hours to uh. <laughs> All right, so maybe up. not. <laughs> okay, I could probably see maybe two hours, but not. If you say if you say two hours, I actually have something for charcoal. Two hours. I would fit. They just went into the tiny oh, yeah, bedroom a thing for me. two hours. <laughs> went to a tiny oh, bedroom. for me! Yay! Yeah, something for you. You just have to get outside and get it. I mean, well, what's I the guess thing? I'm... Anyway. I love how you underneath the thing there. <laughs> great. I'm, I'm going to tell Night Sky that I will see her, that hopefully I will see her again. I will give her a hug and I will leave. Aww. She's going to wait gets, with you. This is getting creepier and creepier. You don't even know her. 
We're drinking got, buddies. You just got drunk. With, yeah, you don't hug drinking buddies. They hug you when they're really drunk and don't remember it next day. <laughs> also, I love how Octavo is just sitting there, staring. <laughs> Everyone is clumping up on my wagon. <laughs> yep. Okay, well, so... For some reason, they all just decided to follow Fiend or yes. Wait Splitter. So, while I, while I keep At least they're out eye... of my room. So while I keep an eye on Media because I have a feeling she wants to lick the potions or something, or my reagents, <laughs> I'm gonna explain. No, I want to put them the in my alcohol. I'm gonna explain the fundamentals of the last days to Wave Splitter, as in we killed a lot of undead, we found a lot of gold, we hid it. Now we wait. What are we waiting for? For the um, appropriate time to approach. Either the mayor. No, no, it was the mayor. We approached the mayor and the priest, and we try to find out what's happening in this town. Well, if we wait too long, they're gonna suspect something. Yes, but I want to do this at night, like when it's dark, when the other townspeople aren't around. You know, just in case. Well, these townsfolk aren't exactly nice. Folk. Yeah, which does make sense. <laughs> but. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, grab a a filled vial with something, toss it over my shoulder to charcoal while yelling, "Hey, big guy, catch!" While explaining to Wade, "No, they're actually kind of nice, but I they have to, it. they have to eat a lot of shit over the day, so they're kind of cranky." Yeah, uh, that's a potion, a potion of enlarged person. Oh my! Have fun with it. Oh, oh my! <laughs> yes. If it lasts for longer than four hours, you're probably fucked. It doesn't. <laughs> it lasts like it lasts a minute. It's at the minimum level. Yeah. Uh, hey, I does was making loot, but okay. Those things are expensive to make. Yeah. I also have yeah, another one. Or an extract. I have an extract too, but. <clears throat> You know, I only have so so many extracts per day, so I'd rather give him a potion. Yes, those last look considerably longer. Yeah. The extract is so, more, for, more for me. What was this about talking to the mayor? Like, did y'all talk to him already? Her. And yes, we did. Her? Apparently, she owns the the factory. But oh, she's the brow. Whatever. What? What? <laughs> what now? The Brow family, whatever. Bog. You mean the Bog family? Oh, Bog. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Okay, see. The Bog family. Anyway, we found someone in the factory made undead. And it looks like a pretty, you know, decently skilled magic user. Much more than either of us. So we're kind of suspecting the priest and or the mayor. Okay. So we went until night. We went until night, and then we try to uh, approach them with this knowledge. And we hit the gold, so we have some sort of leverage, among other things. So are we just gonna like meet them at the factory, or are we gonna meet them? At their homes, haven't or decided, haven't decided yet. We should also approach the priest separately, because quite frankly, if he wants to, he can probably kick our asses from here to next town. Uh, so I gotta have him on well, our side. Uh, what's the preacher preaching? Uh, like, who is his deity? Oh. Uh. What was the name? Fuck. Oceana. I think it Oceana. was uh, yeah. Oceana. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was like you know, water hair. Okay. Or the Church of the Princess. Yeah. But it's a. Uh... Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Sort of a homebrewed branch. Yeah, but. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Homebrewed. Anyway, I'm still. I still have to wait four more hours for the rest, the other two potions to finish. So. Media, well, don't lick that. We... Media, don't lick that. It might kill you. Don't lick what? Uh, I suppose during the uh, time it takes um, 
Uda to take care of his potions, I mean, we can go talk to one of the two. And if the mayor doesn't want to be talked to, uh, if the townsfolk don't want us to talk to the mayor at this Honestly, time, I... we could go talk. I'd rather you approach the priest, uh, the priest first. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I thought you said the mayor. Sorry. Uh, I mean, I was. And also, since we know that the priest can kick our ass, I say we suck up to him. Oh, totally, absolutely. We don't want him against us. Suck, 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 suck. Honestly, at this point, it doesn't even matter if he is the one who created the zombies. What are we gonna do against it? Nothing. Uh, die screaming. Yeah, so let's be friends. Let's be friends with him, even if he's evil. Especially Why if can't he's we evil. Why can't, can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? I'm friends. So, yeah. I'm... You have fun with your enlarged person potion? Don't waste it. Yeah, I'm gonna have a ton of fun. You spend <laughs> me right round, baby. Right next level, round, I, round, next round, level round, I can round, make them in like round, one round, hour. Round, round. Seriously, next level I can make a potion in one hour, like half the time. It's great. You can just Anyways. throw them out there. So, awesome. so where yeah. do we go from uh, here? To the priest. I'll stay in the wagon. Continue yeah, you got work. your potion. No mm. one's going to go talk to Mayor Bog? Not, Not yet. Yet, no. I don't want to split the, I don't want to split the party more than we, can, more we have to. I was going to say, why don't we tell them both at the same time? No. Exactly, that's splitting the party. What if one of them turns out to be the people who we need to watch out for, and then half the party is taken care of? Plus, here's the the thing. We have evidence, clear evidence, that there was magic done in the factory. Pretty high-level magic for, like, for us anyway. And 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 we know the priest is a magic user, so... Best case scenario, he didn't do it, but he has some insight and can help us. A worst did we case, ever detect, did we ever what? use detect magic on Mirbog? Uh, Fuck no. No, we didn't. Not yet. We probably should I, have. Uh, well, I can't use it, so. Hmm? I can use it, but I've never really never got up to it. the lady, so. You never met yeah. her. I can use it. We we can do that soon first the priest okay like i said best case yeah. best case he'll help us worst case he's an evil wizard who tries to kill us but we can always suck up to him and be friends <sighs> yeah and then when he realizes we're tricking him he's just gonna kill us anyways who says we're tricking him i want to be friends with the evil wizard yeah Why he sounds you like a really be- nice guy like Why would you fellow? want to be friends with the evil wizard? Because when I'm so not his friend, kill us. yeah. Because if I'm not his friend, I'm dead. I'd rather be his friend. For yeah. now, <laughs> you have to be pragmatic, Zevi. We're level two. Yeah, <laughs> this is coming from I... this is coming from media, not not me. Well, then I explain. You have to be pragmatic, media. We're level two. We're level two. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> no! Stop licking that. You might die. <laughs> Put that down. That's the fourth wall. We don't break it. We have but doubled don't... our power. I'm not going to cooperate with someone who's clearly whose clear intent is ev- to cause evil okay, and harm. Okay, so the plan is don't stand near media when she says that to the evil guy. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good plan to me. Anyway, speaking of talking to the evil guy, let's go talk to the priest. He may not be... He may not be... Well, he's a priest. He's obviously some sort of evil, but he may not be, like, creating undead evil. Exactly. Probably just really really likes little Philly's evil. You you guys can do... Go do that. I'm staying with the cart. God damn it. Fine. We need you to stop looking stuff, or you could die. I want he you can, to die. He can ha- Media can help me with the potions. Which I mean, just stare at okay. them until they're done. Y- y'all could talk about brewing arts or whatever. And I'm you sorry, I can't stand by. Can you I can't make stand by being 
or even cooperating with someone yes. who has evil intentions. I guess Carbon's done uh, puking his guts yeah. out, so we're I'll go too. We're trying to right yep. now. We're just trying to find gather information about the goings on before you we die. You clearly just said that you wanted to be friends with the evil wizard. That's a that. scenario, and if it comes down to it, I won't go for it so easily, but if it means life or death, I mean, just, <laughs> there's a bit of magnanimity that one must take into dealing with people like this. Bruh. Look, Bruh. Look Bruh. media, the thing is, it is evil and we are faced with it. The best thing we can do is pretend that we are on his side so that we can get away and get the fucking guard. Little bro's mm. right. Mm. Don't talk to me. Mm. Don't fuck it. Well, whatever. Um, I'll make my choice then. You can practice your morals at a point where it isn't going to cost you your life. Remember, he tried to stab us because they, he was really hungry. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> so anyway, um, I have no idea where this priest is. And your leggy folk buildings are all the same, so... Leggy folk. You have legs too. <laughs> but I don't rely on them, bruh. You are literally yes. relying on them right now. Does it just mis- something else you don't rely you on? You also rely on them to swim because you use them to swim. They're just vestigial, wow. bruh. That's I don't really it's... need them, bruh. Evolution, bruh. I'll be right back. I despise everything about you. Today is apparently just the day of interruptions. Oh, man. What is that? Oh, that's a good email. Hmm? It just got, oh, it just got an email. Please print out. No attachments. Thanks. <laughs> that, that's, nice. That's how, that's how, well, that was easy. Look, clearly you should print it out. No, clearly I should just bring them an empty piece of paper. There you go, I've printed it out. <laughs> Fucking hell. Sunday evening. What is wrong with people? Hmm. So anyway, yeah. Um, definitely should just try and find our way to the... <laughs> we should probably gather Uda and stop him yes. from stress eating. You mean Usko? And just be like, oh, yeah, Usko. Usko, Uda, I mean, they're close enough. Fucking racist. I'm pretty sure it's, like, too late for that. They all look the same anyway. (laughs) What about the race, man? It's It's not not racist. They're not the same race. Try to beat guys without that with the left that are you. No. Technically, nobody else but Usko knows that Uda isn't a zebra. Yep. Yeah, so... We just oh. look alike because we're zebra. It's it's the worst. They're all racist, man. They're all racist. Yep. All right. Anyway, let's that. get going. Anyway, yes. We gather Uda and we venture out to find said chapel. It's literally the building below us, like yep. directly below us. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy. I found it. <laughs> Now to find that chapel. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, man. So, let's go in and talk to you, the priest. Yes. Well, don't make me move all the token suits. I'm coming. Yeah, I'm I don't coming. know if they went and got right. me. We did. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go in there, grab, grab Usko, drag him out. Come on. Uh, I'm fuck you, I can... My own token. Usko, we have much fighting to do. It will be very fun. Ah. <laughs> Come on. Uh, 
Come on, we're gonna go talk to the priest. Ugh. Give me a second, I'm trying to move my fucking token. Makes me want to vomit. Also, I tried to make alchemist fire, but I didn't roll enough, so... You know the priest could be a generally good human be pony being. <laughs> Why are you... <laughs> That's a human. Shut up. Because, because right now, he's possibly an evil wizard. But no, he's, at the same time, head. possibly a good wizard. Priest, actually. I will hold my judgments until we see exactly what his disposition is. So you all we'll walk into there, the church. Huh? Usko begins to look at, begins to get that horrible sensation of something is about to go wrong because of his stupid fucking friends. <laughs> what friends? Vincent Shade looks up from uh, from his book, and he smiles at Usko. Ah, oh, welcome back, my child. I see you've uh, made it safely through the night. Yes, it was trying, but we succeeded in the end, Crimson. It was a pleasure to see you again. And quite a pleasure to see you so well. And um, I believe I've found something of interest to discuss. Oh? In private. Of course. Right this way, friend. He takes him into the uh, this back room over here. <laughs> now, friend, to the Usko, north. before you say anything, those pictures were given to me voluntarily. And I know they look young, but let me assure you, they were <laughs> of, of age at the time the pictures were taken. God damn it. Also, um, Uda, Are we all going in there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure, you gotta sure. follow? Huh? Uda and Permafrost? I literally fuck? cannot because I have to make potions and stuff. Okay. <clears throat> I can't. Okay. Question. Are we all going in there with him? Well, or is it just probably. Usko? Is I mean, a, I'm going in with him. Is, is there a window there? Uh, there are there are some windows, but they're stained glass. You can't look in. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, then I don't know what's happening. And neither does Permafrost, who is for some reason still with me. I don't know why. It's weird. Yeah, we're just gonna leave. We're just gonna leave carbon copy all alone in there. Nah, nah, nah. That, that, that's I'm just that. waiting for. I'm there waiting for go. Connor to move Usko in there. Look, don't don't worry about carbon copy. Uh, can someone move uh, permafrost in there? Cause I'm having internet troubles right now. Uh, of course. I would, but all yeah. I can do is move a cart. Thank don't you. worry about. Don't worry about carbon copy. He's not Philly sized. He doesn't have anything to worry about. Ah, damn it. No, so, no, I'll bring him with I'm, me. I'm not sure if you uh, can stick anything into him. So, should I just move you, Usko? Yeah, I guess so. Sit, hold on a second. I'm trying to do something. Okay. Mm. Look, where there's a will, there's a way. Enemies are very flexible. Yes. Like otters. Should have taken two more familiar instead of infusion and just started growing one, just to freak media out. You should have. Yeah, I will do that at level four. So my grandmother is like yeah. super bad hurt about me. I not thought you did me. actually. But it's like I said, I'm just gonna shovel snow. I'm not just not gonna shovel snow now and then shovel snow like three hours later. Yeah, that'd be stupid. I'll just... and... Yeah. What? Do you remember what I told you about that? Yeah. If if you do that. Media will not will not be in this party anymore. Oh. Just if you make a tumor yeah. that looks like a llama. I'm not going to make it look like a llama. I'm going to make it look like something actually practical. Like a platypus. That's still gross. <laughs> but not media but not media leaving gross. Platypi are not gross. They're, oh, they're right. cute and adorable and poisonous. Yeah. Venomous. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, they got little poison barbs and everything. It's literally a Our tumor. Clock. It's literally a fleshy like, tumor shaped like a platypus. Shaped like a platypus <laughs> with a mouth. They're like a uh, nature twist. They are what they ban. Bro ban. Happy about that actually. Having bandwidth problems. <sighs> uh. Uh. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, okay. that one hurt the knee. Oh, anyway. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> so, what is, what is the pizza doing? Chicken, please. You have such a broad band Internet spectrum problems, of yes, I know. puns. Okay. Why can't you use those? Right. Anyways, step into the room. Not sure why follows. everyone else is fucking following. But I am. Wasn't that the, the idea? Yeah, yeah was, right. we, were, we were all yeah. waiting for you to go into the room. Uh, well, I had to wait for my grandma to finish shouting at me because apparently oh. she wants to shovel yeah. snow out of the driveway now. That was the and idea. three hours later, instead Maybe. of just shoveling snow three hours Commence, later. Commence um, ominous Latin chanting. She's <laughs> snowing a lot outside. So, of course, we need to shovel I mean, the driveway. The problem is that she wants outside. to shovel it multiple times when we don't have to. Anyways, let's get in the room. If you want to shovel a lot of snow as compared to a Apparently little bit Apparently I'm snow, already in the room please somehow. Get, please just get into the room. Let's, yeah, Up let's drop the snow. Let's go. And let's just get in the room. I should have already been in there. Right. Or in the room. So yeah, Crimson Shade is going to look around a bit at everyone following and be... Mm, I'm not baffled. sure... Why they needed to follow me in. Well, apparently you're a more charismatic uh, holy, uh, holy pony than you gave yourself credit. Were we not all part of this? I had planned for this to be a private conversation. But. You did not say anything about there being a private conversation. Don't call him a but. It's true. I this said I would like to, to have ask. this conversation... In private. Well, I oh, have a well, question. Well, I know when I'm not need, uh, when I'm not wanted. Captain Cubby flies Poor out. Poor dude. Poor. Yeah, I I, uh, I go over and say, "Oh, you also not oh, wanted." No, it's, a, it's fine. It's fine. He can stay. He can stay, Goblin. I'll be here with you. Already out the door, Permafrost. It'll be fine. It's okay. He's already out the door. He's gonna fly back, uh, back uh, to the room and look in and go. Well, what are you all waiting for? Hold on a second. I'm going some... to uh, try and move, move to a closer location. Be right back. Show some goddamn decorum and get out so the two ponies can talk. I'm Bruh, working on that, but I'm blocked in dumb. by everybody else. Okay, before I before I leave, I want to sense motive him. All right, go ahead. What are you sensing motive on? Uh, I want to sense motive on his his intentions on basically whether he's evil or not. I don't think you can sense motive for that. You cannot no, sense not. motive alignment, Zephy. Yeah, that and is it, that is detect alignment, which is another spell entirely. Can, okay, can I sense motive his intentions? You don't or know. He hasn't what? even said a word yet. <laughs> I don't know. You, you can't he just like, like sit there and read minds about entire kinda... information that hasn't even been brought up. He kind of looks like a crook, though. Even though he's not a zebra. I can't sense motive on like I can't sense try and hmm? sense motive to see like what his intentions are just based on how he looks. He d no, you can't. That's judging a book by its cover. That is having a prejudice. You can do that, but you don't have to roll for it. <laughs> Fine. Uh, it, it... It's pretty obvious what his intentions are. He was asked by one of his new friends to go talk Look, in private in a room. The problem, Anyways, with, is, the problem with media is she You sees... mean... When you asked him to talk in private but didn't actually say the word in private? Uh, no, he I did say in private. Said, uh, Can I detect his murderous intent? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Look, you're just not, you're because not even the church. You be, you? just yeah. because he's a brown pony doesn't mean he's evil. <laughs> you racist, especially you, Zeffy. You racist. Anyways, fine. This conversation is weird, and I'm out. <laughs> I give him, I give him a sideways Wait, glance, wait, wait. and I, I walk out of the room. Plus, I got to go help unload stuff anyway, so I'll be right back. Alright. Right. Everybody else leaves the room, leaving Usko and Crimson Shade in there alone. The door closes. 
So, I, well, me and my companions were searching through the area. We found something interesting. A couple things interesting, actually. We found a few of the restless dead. Ah, as I predicted. A table which seems to have been used for binding unfortunate souls and performing experimentations on them. Indeed. Those, those poor unfortunate souls. <laughs> I had a and, feeling that it would take such routes and, to arrest the dead. And what more, in there lies the warehouse, is a chest of gold. Well, of course, it is a gold refinery. About a quarter million of it. Indeed. Although, Outsmith gold is not exactly worth that precise amount. Tell him that we found gold bars. Not just gold. Someone made Is it them. worth less? <sighs> it is why the factory closed down. Oh, do tell. Be because they found inferior gold Shush! somehow? <laughs> Shush! <laughs> if you take a look at this gold in broad daylight... You will find it has a strange and greenish color. It turns out this gold is rather toxic. Really? Indeed. So could one this is ghoul's gold? What? Ghoul's gold? Instead of, like, fool's gold? Don't explain the joke. And I'm back. Uh, Don't explain the damn joke. I right. mean, she asked. I had to. I just didn't hear you anyway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn it. <clears throat> Although I am surprised. Exactly how much gold did you find? Inside the warehouse is one chest. Stack to the top, stack to the bottom of the top of gold bars. Uh, well, at least that makes things easier. Getting rid of one chest is considerably less difficult than getting rid of... Oh, I don't know how many that crazy cult produced before the, inf uh, before the contaminant was discovered. How does the contaminant work? It is a slow working poison in a way, which is transferred via touch. Direct skin contact will cause physical changes in, uh, in the victim within a week, which is why uh, we had to stop our jewelry making uh, business town. Oh Same. shit. I didn't touch it. It was Carbon a touched it. <laughs> Fuck him. Carbon rubbed all over it and kissed it. I don't care. I'm not oh, Carbon. God. So what we wait a week and this yeah, dick will sh fall should, off. Should we tell him? That'll be fun. No, no. Don't, don't ruin his last week on this earth. <laughs> As he slowly dies inside and out. Okay, so what happened? <laughs> well, apparently, if you touch the gold a week later, your dick falls off. I don't believe that's exactly what happened. Chicken, if you could fill me the in. The gold is infected with the T virus. <laughs> the gold is contaminated with some kind of toxic metal, which, uh, provided, um, provided the victim stays in prolonged contact, uh, contact with gold, for instance, wearing jewelry. It will cause them to get sick. What about okay, kissing so it fine. and rubbing it on your 
like bare chest or something? That's a good question. What if you're really tiny while you do that? That's okay, really I question. assume he's probably fine. Totally. <laughs> Nothing bad will happen. So I'm he's assuming there's no the safe virus. way to extract this contaminant from the gold, correct? Not that I personally know of, but then again, I am but a humble priest. See. By the way, um, we found a page of your spellbook. I believe this belongs to you. And I'll take out the page that has the Restore Corpse spell on it. Oh, splendid. He will look considerably relieved as he takes, uh, as he takes the, um, the page and reads it over and then sighs in utter relief. Ah, oh, this is wonderful. Thank you so much, my friend. Of course. Then he walks over here, finds a match, and lights the page on fire. <laughs> so I take it that you gave up the practice. Indeed. I have not practiced for the better, the better part of ten years. If you don't mind me asking, what, dra what drove you away from it? Burn on necromancy. Sense oh. motive. Sense motive. You're not even in the room, damn it. I know. He hasn't said anything enough to sense motive yet. <laughs> I'm. I need to wait for him to make his fucking statement, Seffy. <laughs> no. Apparently, my particular practice was frowned upon when that ban came into existence. He says, as the ashes of the page fall to the church floor. What was your practice? Well, obviously it was necromancy. Obviously it was. Well, as I've come to understand the practice of necromancy amongst wizardly circles is two very bipolar spheres. Indeed. Personally, I was in the I was in the business of raising small personal armies for the wealthy. Incidentally, this is how I came into service of the Bog family. But... Oh God! Oh shit! He's a badass. <laughs> See, this is why I want to be friends with him. <laughs> we can always but come back and kill him later. Yeah, I mean, he, he seems like a he seems like a decent dude. But as I mentioned, the band. <laughs> swiftly put a stop to my practice. I found more tranquil and forgiving <laughs> ways to earn a living. Evil overlord turned priest. Buy my book! <laughs> <laughs> so how does one Do dispose of this gold? I cannot rightfully tell you. Tis... It is not my practice. It is not something I would really know. For, for all I know, melting it down would be the safest way to dispose of it, but I would suggest talking to Lady Bog about this. That was the mayor, right, Chicken? Yep. See. Si. Good to know. Indeed. And if I remember correctly, because it's been a week since we've done this, uh, he insinuated that Lady Bog was the one that was responsible for the undead in the fucking warehouse, right? Yep. Well, he insinuated that the Bog family was. That's the one. Yup. Yup. Anyways. Oh, by the by. If you happen to come across the other pages... I would greatly appreciate if you brought them to me. Of course. Thank you. Thank you kindly, my friend. If you, if you need anything on your, uh, on your further travels, I will be at your service. Thank you for your great assistance. No, I think I have more to thank you for. After all, you just single-handedly put an end to our nightly troubles here in Artsmith. You're too uh, kind. Um, excuse me, it wasn't just and him. I was about to fucking say that, <laughs> but no, no, you had to fucking blunder on in like goddamn cockweasel. I'm, I'm still out here. 
Yeah. Anyways, as I was saying, you're too kind. You have to understand I had assistance from my companions. Oh, of course. All of you helped in this endeavor. And I am sure there will be some kind of recompense for all of you. Yes. And do not worry, I will keep the uh, secret of this. I will keep the secret of the gold under wraps. It would, would not want to cause undue panic. Very wise, my friend. Very wise. Now, since you know where this gold is and since the factory is presumably unlocked by now, I would suggest you go and talk to the mayor as swiftly as possible. We won't ah, want was... anyone getting in there. That would have been my next course of plan, or next course of action, actually. Good. Very good. And Usko will step out of his private conversation. Sorry. Ah, secret private conversation. <laughs> as, the, as the void envelops the priest. <laughs> Don't read anything into that. <laughs> I believe I must make a trip and visit the mayor. Oh. Well, then we better get going. Actually, um, better idea. <laughs> I will go visit the mayor by myself, and it perhaps would be best if the rest of you are on hand in the surrounding area in case something suspicious goes on. It's more likely to act if only one of us is there. Right. If she is going to do something uncouth. Um, we left the factory open. Do we need to go and walk that back? We should also do that. <laughs> so you're Thank willing you to sacrifice you. your life. How noble of you. By the way, Garm, your dick will fall off in a week. Well, really, if something bad goes down, I'll go yes. squeal, I'll squeal like a small filly and jump out a window. Fuck. <laughs> Perhaps we should send uh, Carbon with you, since he's small, and if need be, he could get help. If it nothing is... else, I can hide under your hat. If you could stay posted at, if you could stay posted within sight of the window, that would help. Wouldn't it be easier if I just, you know, go invisible and hide on top of your back? Show off. If she has some sort of way to detect magic, then that would automatically be a sign of a uh, flag. Also, I, should you not... I would, I would light up like a Christmas tree. Aye. Also... Very well, then. I should, I should keep in... Uh, I shall keep watch from the window. I'm afraid I you won't be able to get a conversation, but uh, you'll notice if something goes wrong because I, I will be going face first out of the window. <laughs> Calvin grins. Can I can I talk? No. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable letting you go in there alone. That's why there yes. are people posted around outside. That's why I'm going to keep an eye on him. What? Don't you think I can do that? How about don't you trust me, media? It's not that. I don't. If they trap him in there, he has no way of getting out, and he's by himself. If they Damn. trap him in, uh, in there, then we will storm the house. We have big guy over here. He can break down the door if he <laughs> hey. decided too violently. And if need be, I'll provide some extra help, bruh. However, if we don't know what's going on inside, he could already be dead by the time we get to him. <laughs> That is your excuse for I'm not everything. entirely incompetent, Media. Good goodness. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. It, I didn't say that either. Media, I'm just trying to plan mean. for every eventuality that could happen. Media does that all the time, I gather. Just, you go to the toilet, uh, half an hour, he's probably dead in there. Hey, just, hey, hey, yeah, hey, just hey, hey, hey. I tell you what, I tell you what. So, Zephy, uh, 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 Media. media. Mm -hmm. Media, media, you take Primus Frost and go bruh the door closed at the factory. Me, big guy, little guy, uh, big bruh, little bruh, and uh, 
uh, uh, uh, Usko, that's the one, will go talk to the mayor. Um, as, as soon as you close the door, make sure there's nothing out of there that shouldn't be out of there, then come back and see us. Mm. I'd prefer, if, a, if there was a trap, I'd prefer it would only be me that get, gets caught in it. The more of us that are able to move around independently, the better. So IP guy has a point. Mm. Okay. That being said, we should go unlock. We should go lock that warehouse up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, let's right. go ahead and get, let's just go ahead and get on that, and we can work out the plan on the way. The plan's already been worked out, though. Anyways, go into the factory. In any case, there's no time to waste. Let's not dawdle any longer. Could you go back to me and tell me about the curse and stuff? Uh, I no. actually hasn't told anyone about the curse. Oh, even better. <laughs> you know, I'm an alchemist. Even better. Just, then uh, when just he comes and uh, Carbon turns into a zombie, we all know who to blame. Um... <laughs> Question. Answer. Uh, did we we picked up the chain, right? The chain. Yeah. Oh yeah, I you believe, did. I believe yeah. I picked it up. Did I not? You did. <coughs> oh, okay, cool. So I'm gonna take the chain, grab the lock. That's actually, did we break the lock or? I can't remember. No, what you we opened did. the lock. You had a key. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm gonna lock it back and put the chains. I'm gonna put the chains around the door and just chain it shut. Good work. We're so proud of you. Yeah, that that works. Congratulations. And then I'm gonna take the lock from my chest. Well, the one that, the old one that was inside my chest that I put inside my chest. And I'm gonna put that around the door as well. <laughs> nice. So now it's double locked. The magic guy I'm wearing of this is just gold mixing with uranium or something. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Dude, I'm an alchemist. <laughs> I probably have the knowledge to, you know, divide stuff from the gold and refine it a bit. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take much. Only nothing acid else. Okay, okay. anyways. Let's go talk with the mayor. I will go talk with the mayor. You'll be ready in case the mayor does something stupid. Right. And I'll be watching at the window. How much Just is it, Adam, in the window? I wait. I'll wait here. Carbon? Yes. No, I've already made this joke. Never mind. <laughs> what? I already made the joke. Never mind. Darn it. I always want to hear bad jokes. Darn it. Gosh darn it to heck. Knock, 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 knock. I Open. use the door knocker, presumably if there's one. Doors open and the silent face of whispers greet you. She nods and steps aside. Good afternoon. Step inside. Close door behind me. What the fuck, charcoal? <laughs> Sorry. I want to go inside too. She motions for you to follow her. She knocks at this door and then steps aside. And the lady comes out. Oh, there you are. Oh, I was so worried about y'all. It is such a relief to see you here. So, I take it the, the little problem has been dealt with. Yes, apologies for taking so long. We had to tend our wounds. Oh, of course. Now, if you just said so, I would have. I would. I would have done everything in my power to help you, you poor darlings. It's quite all right. We have enough resources of our own. Well, if you're if you're certain about that. Well, do tell then. How did it go? What happened in there? As predicted, there were a handful of the 
restless dead uh, chamber in which one would tie a poor soul down and experiment on them, and a chest of gold. Oh, of course. Inside the warehouse lies a chest of gold filled with gold bars from bottom to top. Only one? Only one is there. That ain't right. Oh no, if someone's gotten their hoofs on that gold, those poor fools. Is there a problem? Why, yes. You see, there's a reason why the factory shut down. A really, really good and valid reason, too. The gold's yeah. toxic. Toxic? Indeed. It has some kind of contaminant in it. And now, if you hold it up against the sun, you can see this very, very faint little green glimmer in it. That's the tell, you see. I take it it's hard to tell whether or not it's contaminated otherwise. Indeed. For all intents and purposes, it, just, it looks and feels just like regular gold. Even very well, uh, very high quality gold at that, but... Oh, so dear. I take it, so I take it it must be, um, must have been used for jewelry. Well, yes. Well, that was what the main business in this town. I see. That would explain how the uh, issue was found. Indeed. And also why old trade and stuff with poor Outsmith. Now, we haven't had a good reputation ever since then. I see. But, if you would just follow me for a moment. Of course. She walks in here to have a little more privacy. That I, I put my be. back. I, I keep the window at my back. Now, kill her! <laughs> I need to know. Did you take care of those poor restless souls in there? With the utmost delicacy. Oh, that's... That's a relief to hear. We slice I... them apart and then we put them in a large pile. I have something that... That I need you to see. And by delicacy, we mean we stabbed them until they weren't moving. <laughs> but she in a very delicate way. She waves you with her. I'll walk over. Oh, while she isn't looking, I'll give a uh, worried glance to Carbon, then walk over. <laughs> Carbon, Carbon will not. Carbon, take the shot. Take the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Can you even see him with the, uh, with the... Is the curtain open or closed? Probably. It's the middle of fucking day. Assuming it's open. My curtains stay open. My curtains stay closed even in the middle of the day. Yes, That's because you're, you're fucking weird. Tippy. Yeah, you're weird. So? <laughs> Nothing. Still just... I'm just saying. We need to know these things. <laughs> you do, yeah. Yeah. Also, chicken. Uh, the message that I sent, the PM that I sent you, uh, for a fucking reason, still sending. So I just want. I was gonna PM and say I cast tech or protection from evil on myself before walking in here. Okay. But it doesn't, hasn't fucking sent yet. So yeah. fuck it. Yeah. Turns well, out you cast protection against evil. <laughs> Turns out she's neutral. Mwahaha. <laughs> <laughs> the worst kind of evil. The neutral kind. Now, what you're about to see is something that's been a blot on our family line for for many years now. And I implore you, please help me take care of this poor, poor soul. What the fuck? It's her husband. <laughs> Bring out the gimp. You walk into uh, into the room, which is, aside from the 
horrible, snarling, tied up monstrosity in the corner. Clean enough that it doesn't smell, at least. Also, there are some very obvious familial uh, similarities between that zombie and Mayor Marsha Bog. My father! My <laughs> goes ear will, sister! Just goes ears will flatten. Now, please. I know you have ties with the Queen, but I must ask you to not speak of this to her. Only bad things will befall poor Outsmith if she knows uh, if she knows this. But Ooh. I cannot take the suffering of my son anymore. What else could oh. possibly happen to this piece of this piece of shit gone? <laughs> if uh, it burns Cthulhu. down, it would Cthulhu be better. could happen. Look, this place needs a flamethrower. Okay, <laughs> several probably. Look, Cthulhu could happen. Cthulhu for talking. Would still be better. <laughs> Usko will uh, nodge. Will not not nodge. nodge. Will not. He will nodge. He will not. You will get. You will get rich and have a breakdown on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> he will create. He word. will create a successful series and then not care any longer. <laughs> then sell it to Microsoft. Yeah. Anyway, you have my word. Thank you kindly. Now, please, make it quick. I can't stand to see my poor Deeper in this kind of agony. Yeah, just kill What'd him. What'd she call him? Deeper. Deeper? Yep, Deeper. Deeper Bog. The, yep. the traditional spelling? <laughs> Dweep. <laughs> Dweeper. Weeper. Come on, just, uh, just kill the zombie and be done with it. Usko, uh, well, using... <sighs> God, this is super fucked up. Uh, Usko will uh, use as much... What's the word? Delicacy? Uh, del- I was thinking of another word besides delicacy, but let's go with delicacy Brutality. as he can. Um, he will walk over to Deeper Bog, and then before he... And as he like tries to slap, like, Strike out at him. Uh, Usko will tap one of his, uh, will tap one of his legs or whatever he's using to try and hit Usko, and use his domain power, uh, repose. You begin lulling deeper bog into a, uh, essentially a, like a peaceful slumber as he lays him down, and begins to channel against the undead. Oh, so he just holds. His... Hmm? Um. Do the effects Poor of that spell deeper. work Poor on deeper. undead? Of the de- domain of power? Yes. Uh, because okay. the zombie is already staggered, he will fall asleep. So I, and Usko will then I was gently just lay... wondering... This is the one way to put a zombie to sleep. Uh, Usko will then gently lay the guy down as he continues to use his uh, reposed domain ability, and he will pull out his holy symbol. And invoking Soft Whisper's name, he will begin to channel undead. And, uh, eventually... I'll reduce the body to ash. Will you, will you yell? The power of Christ compels you until it's done. I <laughs> uh, no. Oh, and my, he will my... do so. Sorry. And he will do so in a very. I... God damn it. Sorry. And he will do so in a very uh, somber and oh, res- and reverential manner. As you reduce the zombie to ash. It seems like its features become less contorted in pain and more and more peaceful until there's nothing but a tiny gray pile where there once was an agonized and pained young cult. Seems like a very happy pile then. All the while your chanting is um, is chorused by the quiet, uh, the quiet and demure sobs of Maya Marsha Bog. Well, this got dark really quickly. From ashes we rise, and ashes we return. So we so can I, put a zombie to sleep. has ended. May you find peace in the afterlife. May soft whisper take you softly into a hoose. 
It'll probably Good end night. up in hell. Good night, deeper bog. And then Usko will stand. Marsha yeah. still uh, still sobbing with it, uh, with the handkerchief to her, uh, to her eyes. We'll, uh, we'll give one uh, one powerful sob and start to pull out crying. Usko will walk over to her and put a comforting comforting leg around her. Just put her yeah, to man. sleep. Look, put her to sleep. Reduce her to ash. It worked with the zombie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No. That's how that's how I solve all my problems. Look, look, let them be together and Pete. Let them be together. <laughs> this is yeah. how I end, this is how I solve all my relationship problems. <laughs> look, I... just let them be together in death. Yeah. yeah. And then you become and then you become the mayor of Altsman. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how that's how being a mayor works, right? You just inherit it. Anyway. <laughs> She will lean into Usko's embrace and cry into his shoulders while, uh, while in a very tiny and sob-riddled voice go, Thank you. Thank you so much, kind stranger. And now you must die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry for what will happen next if she pulls out a dagger. <laughs> oh. Yes. My shake, name is... shake, shake. <laughs> My name is Usko. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Usko. I promise you I will never forget your name. You do me a great honor. <laughs> yes! No, a week later then. Yes, that's the one, Usko, the one who killed my husband. Son. I will never forget his name. Husband, son. His, her husband, son. Husband. Oh. <laughs> My. I got anyway. wrong. <laughs> Composing herself as much as she can, she will step aside and let you out. It's the giant horse I'm the sure, front door. I'm sure that Preacher Crimson will be happy to assist you with a proper burial. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you will. He's he's always been such a cat cult. What is there left to bury? The ash. ashes. Ashes. What do you do with I ash normally? Put in a fucking urn. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Bury it. You can spread or it around. Or you just like you know, get a cup, dig a <laughs> hole with it, dump the ash in there. Boom. Done. <laughs> get a cup. You could, God damn you it, could, man. You could you could set you could set fire to the ashes. Oh hell, just leave it in the cup. Boom, done. <laughs> just just flush it down the toilet. But he would have where he wanted to be. In he would have wanted it that else. way. He would have wanted What would it. you have done with the single gold chest remaining at the warehouse? I'll have it destroyed. Ask her how. Then I take it you wish for us to leave it there? I suppose that would be best. Although it will take some time to destroy it. Oh crap, we've suppose, locked up the factory. I suppose the factory is the most secure place for it to be right now. Yes. Where no pony's going uh, to find it. We currently relocked the factory so that no one would enter. Sir, it'll certainly stay it'll certainly stay safe when no one has the key except for someone who's miles away. <laughs> yeah, because locks cannot be picked. Usko oh, will then I... place his key for the lock that the key that they gave him. Mayor the mayor gave him. Eh, English. <laughs> it's a good thing oh, no one took that gold and put it in a cave somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that would surely spell doom for the whole landscape around it. Oh dear. <laughs> now all I have to do is find out who took those other four boxes and make sure that that gold doesn't go and get into circulation. Correct. Yeah, you you do that, ma'am. Also, I'm left wondering, how does one destroy the gold? Oh, the safest way to do is is to melt it down and confine it in a lead box and dispose of it somewhere that 
whatever toxin it's in, it won't get into anything else. Why not the water? The red box. Why, why would you melt it down before that? That doesn't change the gold. It just makes it liquid. And then it gets hard again. Possibly <laughs> burn out the impurities. I'm sorry, you said lead gold, right? Hmm? No, lead... A so lead box. Or not lead gold, a lead box, rather. A lead box, yeah. Yep. Yes, a lead box. Man, this stuff is totally just gold mixed with uranium. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know what we can do with that? Sell it. No, we can probably pull the uranium out and refine the gold. All we need are the proper alchemical supplies and maybe some, you know, radio radiation proof suits. Uh, uranium is denser than gold. Yeah. Power plant. What Anyways. will what will destroy uranium? What kind of acid would do it? Valve. Uranium. Uranium acid. I do hope I that know. the gold that the gold is contained, the gold was originally stored in lead lined boxes. Correct. Oh yes. Oh, wonderful. Otherwise, this would have become a very odd conversation as you're going to ask how to cure oh some of the unfortunate parts because we handled the gold wondering how the fuck it got there. Oh, if you only handled it for, say, a few hours or so, you're not in any kind of danger. It's only, do uh, it's only <laughs> over a couple of days that that gold is going to cause anything. <laughs> it's only deadly if you, say, kiss it. <laughs> But who would do that? So what if, what if it's only deadly if you ingest it. So this is something of a, of a uh, strange conversation topic. But a part of my companions is an atomy, and he got a little intimate with the gold out of the <laughs> <A little weird. laughs> yeah, Mare's eyes little... widen, and she, and she immediately pulls a hoof over her mouth. Oh, that. He should be oh, fine, right? Thing. Oh, well. Oh, you must get him out of Outsmith this instant. Get him to wing wrist as quickly as you can. That poor thing, he won't last very long if he's been in contact with that gold for too long. He doesn't have any on him. He just rubbed himself on it and kissed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know atomies. I get a little strange with their metals. But as long as that's all he did, and if you get him to wing wrist quickly enough, he's going to be fine. But you need to hurry. <laughs> Wing rust. Wing rust. Yes, please. That's a uh, town, correct? Oh, yes. Now, it's a town that was founded um, around the Equestrian Hotel, which is the best hospital in Westland, as, uh, as well as an inn and a place for weary travelers to. Uh, to rest and to recuperate. Oh my goodness, my luck. Hold on. Uh, 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 oh my goodness, my luck is so bad today. Map. What? I'm reloading so I can try and open up the fucking map. <laughs> I, I could found... just move you. I could just move you to the map if you want to. No, nah, no, nah, it's good. Okay. I got it. Nah, nah. Did it. I did the thing. Good. Chicken, I haven't rolled anything above a 10 today. Beautiful. Oh, good, a 17. No, nope, back to back to back to less than 10. So, nope. Chicken, if I'm reading this correctly, yep. that's the town due south? Yep. It's All the right. closest town to Outsmith. I see. Thank you for your... Wonderful assistance. Oh, you're quite welcome. Anything I can do for the people that saved this town from the... From... From the gold? From that inanimate well, object. The troubles. Yes. And now, I would... I would give you any riches that I have, but... Fact of the matter is, I'm poor as a church mouse. Not to Payment mention. is of no concern. <laughs> Not to mention, you'll find you'll find plenty of luxury in wing rest. 
As a matter of fact, the inn there, the equestrian hotel, has a policy of not letting the poorest patrons pay. They get it off the tops of rich ones. Wait, so it's so it's free? It's a communism people? hotel. <laughs> okay. So it's fr- so it's free for poor free for poor people. Yep. Yay, communism. That's socialism. See, we should <laughs> we should introduce this to Donald Trump. Got them Americans. So that he has to pay for the means of production. Look, Trump will get the best kind of socialism straight up imported from Russia. (laughs) He's already he's already (laughs) charging people. He's already charging the state of New York to keep him safe in his own hotel. Gee, really? Why would anyone want Donald Trump hurt or dead? He's such a nice guy. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Yep. Who's school then? Take a bow. Uh, you'll like you. Take a satin bow. If there is no other business you wish for me to attend, I would like to uh, get my companions together and leave for and leave for uh, an apothecary. Oh, Unfortunate no. for Carbon to get any iller. I wish you all the safest of travels. She says. Uh, bowing back and once again thank, thank you. you if you should ever need anything know that Outsmith is your home away from home you're too kind Mayor. now please hurry up before that poor thing gets sick yes you score then leave was this your plan all along chicken I don't know. Was it? I Probably have not. a seeking suspicion it was. Captain uh, will fly Carbon. up. Go. So, how did it go? Um. Oh, good. Yeah. It's just on my face. That's okay. We may have been exposed to a pathogen <laughs> while we were dealing with some of the obstacles inside the warehouse. Oh, oh great. Don't worry. You... The mayor told me about a farm upstate where you can live. <laughs> We'll Aren't need to go down me... to... So you're telling me that I might have been exposed to something uh, to something sickness-inducing while in this town? Why, that is just the, that is just the most un, uh, oh amazing thing I have ever heard. You got an I don't FDP. think I can believe it. You got an he's, FDP. he's becoming... Uh, he's, slowly, he's slowly becoming Mare Bog. That's what the pathogen does. <laughs> oh, oh, my quickly. God. Uh, yes, it may in fact be lethal, and we do need to get down to, uh, what was the name of the town? Wingrest. We may need to, we will need to hurry down to Wingrest in order to get you proper medical care. Wait, you're, you're serious? Do we have to? Medical yes. Care. Can't we just find another enemy? But, wait, what? What did, what, how, what? <laughs> What did I touch that made me sick? I'm not sure. I'm not exactly an expert on the on the subject matter. I was just advised <laughs> by the mayor. Oh my god! Yeah, Captain yeah. Copy is going to sense motive on that. Uh, I'm not also, lying. He isn't. Yeah. Yep. You are you are lying. You are uh, sure I, what and what was the uh, matter? Uh, I said something. I'm not familiar. All right, I'm not hiding anything. I'm saying that what he was exposed to is not my particular area of specialty. But Gold. You know I don't is. know fuck about money. I don't know fuck about metals. <laughs> Gee, like, notice how had... everything I've been saying has been very specifically <laughs> not a lie. If we only <laughs> had, if you only had, say, a miner or an alchemist in the party. People who would know this sort of thing. <laughs> you know what? Here, why don't I detect poison on carbon? See if it's, uh, I, you know. Don't think you can detect radioactivity that way. <laughs> uh, there's an actual spell called detect radiation. Yeah, despite radiation being a poison. doesn't matter. Um, anyways. And we don't know what the fuck radiation is anyways. So... So, we will need to get you down there as quickly as possible. Well, (coughs) 
what I'll be waiting for. Definitely not, not me. Uh, Carbon, do wait. You do have plenty of time to get down there. You got plenty. You will of be days. fine, Carbon. Get... Do not worry. You got so many days left in your life. Don't don't waste them by hurrying needlessly. So why do we need to hurry so much if I'm going to be fine? Uh, well, I said you're going to be. I said you're going to be fine. We're going to get there in time. Well, that is sure comforting for me. If when you're all getting... standing around. <laughs> Carbon, I'm trying to. I'm trying to lay out the base, the last of the details. Then we'll leave. Don't worry. Please do, please do it quickly. We've got a week and the travel time is at least, th is at most three days. Anyways. As for the gold, uh, she told, uh, she wants us to leave the chest there. And she will handle it on her own. There's currently... It is something that they will use... <laughs> It's something that they will deal with on their own. So how did you react when uh, when you said that there was only one? She seemed surprised. Well, she appeared to be. After all, it's her factory. She should have inventory. Yes. She was not expecting one chest to be there. Media. Media. I am Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Anyways, Mita, you'll want to take your lock off. Ah, uh, but it's most secure. No one knows where we are. And I'm the only one that yes, has the key. Yes, and they'll be able to get inside. You fucking brain trust. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm surprisingly short of temper today. So, yes, we should... It seems uh, to be going around. <laughs> I'm sorry. So we should be heading to this uh, town of uh, wherever to get to treat Carbon. Wing rest. Yes. yes. <coughs> As Wing for rest. the gold that we have, she said it'd be best if we take it away from the city. So, I guess we have a lot of money in gold now. So you're telling me that she just allowed us to take away all uh, these... Four boxes full of gold after you told she, her about that? She said it'd be for the best. These aren't just boxes of gold. They're boxes of gold that make us sick, apparently. Uh, ben, you that. never heard that. Yeah, we don't know that yet. He, he, he I, has thought, it. I thought you told us all this information. No, he didn't. Uh, no. no, he I've never not. said okay, it. Then, then I'll take that statement back. Yeah. So. He, I'm going to be slightly suspicious about <laughs> Let me... getting all this gold. But I don't frankly care. I will change my, my response to, yay, gold. <laughs> <laughs> guess we're, ri I guess we're rich then, and no, what? no I mean, danger. So I mean, that's a lot of gold. What, what else? Alice, what have you anyway. gotten sick? Aside from that ray of sickening. The undead aren't exactly the most clean things. Not exactly hypoallergenic. That's racist. Why don't you have contact with the undead? I did stab one many. of them, or maybe two. Might have stood upon one. And he has to be oh. right on them to stab them. Bad air. You know, my sickness only lasts for like minutes, bruh. It's Usko, not... I'm pretty sure that we are, uh, that I'm pretty sure that no one in this group is a, is a miasmatic. Is a what? Oh, it's entirely miasmatic? possible. To you mean have... miasmatic? No, I, I meant miasmatists. <sighs> Gesundheit. That's, what I'm uh... trying to say is there's nothing in the air unless it's directly direct. Uh, Unless it is an airborne virus. We know that bacteria work. We don't have to, th to think that there is some kind of cloud that makes people sick. Well, at least we know about the germ theory. That's good. <laughs> and the wee gallivanting beasties. <laughs> it's all That's bad what smells, germs really. Originally called. Anyways, uh, we should probably get moving. We should. Yes. What do Let's... we do? What do we do about the gold that we've hidden? 
buy another cart, take what we can, and uh, keep the rest safe. I really hope you approach me with that later on. <laughs> no, it's fine. You just get to wear the gold. <laughs> so, I have a question. Just completely yeah. out of character. Yeah. Um, that priest... I'm getting like 80 different red flags from him. Oh, totally. He was totally evil. <laughs> but he's in yeah, look, he's in retirement now and it's not like we can do anything about him. <laughs> so I'm going to assume he was lawful evil. <laughs> look. Live and let live because otherwise he will kill us. <laughs> no. It's like a 7th level wizard and from the sound of it he was way more badass than 7th level. Oh, totally. He was and some kind also, of also we look. do kind of have a timeline to get carbon to get treatment yeah uh, so I, i'm saying that we hurry as fast as we can best case scenario he was some powerful warlock for hire you don't <laughs> want to fuck with those people they have no morals so also another random question out of character why aren't you telling us that this gold is making us sick money totally um because none of us are sick except for carbon well, none of us fucked the gold. <laughs> so that way we can actually trade it in for other things later. Oh, yeah, and, so, uh, just... so the rest of us don't feel bad. Here's the problem with that. Which is why I hope that Usko will approach Uda a bit later. Shush! Shush! In okay, character. I'm gonna... Fine, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> not going to say it. Now. In character. Yeah, right totally. now. You know, I just hope you, that this doesn't backfire and we all get horrendously sick Shush. as we're carrying around this gold. <laughs> Shush! In character. Fair enough. Okay. So, Dave. do we do we head to Wing Rest first and then come back and give them the gold back? Well, yes. Let's get the cart. Take some of the gold. <laughs> now, we can worry about the other gold later. It's safely it's safely masturbated. We can literally only take one box in the cart, so, you know. Uh, you unless you buy another cart. Where? Uh, I'm about to find out. Um, well, you'll understand soon. That being said, um, why don't you why don't you all try and see if we can procure a second cart? And I will go update Uda on all of this. All right. I, I, I don't think this place has a... Has like a Cart sale salesmanship or something. Uh, it's basic carpentry. Yes. Making a fucking cart. Yeah. <laughs> have you have you have you looked at this place? Have you listened to the law of the place? Good lord. I think the people who had cards or access to them left long ago. Our point. Look. It's a distraction. Anyways. Fair enough. Okay. Let us look for this uh, carpenter place. <laughs> Just. You lot, go and try and find something. I'm going to go talk to Uda. Oh, look, there's, uh, there's Ants in My Eyes Johnson selling cards. Yeah, go <laughs> hey, Kara, where would we Ants find my eyes, uh, this? What? Where, where would we find a, car, a place for the second cart? Oh, well, there's a store right on, uh, right north to you. Wait, what? Right. There's a cart store? Nope, there's just a store. Oh. I shall Nothing go inside the store. I'm just going to go for... I'm just going to go with Usko. <laughs> Uh, Medium, uh, charcoal. You are both. Yeah, I also going to need... uh, hurry over because I need things that are that actually uh, aren't just a cart. So, uh, yeah. Medium, charcoal. Why don't you two also go stock up on supplies? We'll need those. I'm already stocked up on everything that I need. Uh, not <laughs> everyone else's. That being said, also really, I just want both. I want you two to look after permafrost, actually, please. Actually, when I hear you talk outside. I'm just gonna yell at Charcoal. Oh, it's a great idea. Get me some fresh fruit and stuff. Uh, I don't think there's any fresh fruit in this in this uh, part of town. I have um, a feeling this shop has a crate with tomatoes in it. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> don't ask me how I know that. I'm also fairly certain they have fish to sell. And a sort of green thing. <laughs> Get me that. Also, bite that model I, fish. I don't trust the fish, and I think but, he means seaweed. I don't model, trust that either. 
buy the model ship that I'm sure they have. <laughs> Good job. All right. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Let me see. I may have stuff that I can actually do later. That I can actually go do. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead and deal with the rest of them, chicken. What? Yeah. Take Fenner with you. You'll need the backup. Just go ahead and deal with the rest of them. I'll do my. Fenner is just going to stay in the cart because really, what else is he going to do? Uh, Go with Choco Grady. Keep track of him. Keep track of his minion. Look, I'm not worried about the penguin. We can literally pick him up. We can pick him up, put him outside the cart. Not a problem. Okay, so... But besides, he's eating right now. It's probably about, like, what, lunch, dinner? I will pick up Finner with his food, place him down gently with his food. <laughs> or pet. Pet, pet, pet. All right, then. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it just runs away. <laughs> Who moves the card? Stop moving the card! No! No! <laughs> Pingo, I'll go chase it. over and pat him. I will take control of that card away from uh, from all of y'all if you don't quit it. I was trying. I moved the card back, so I was trying to move my token. We just go oh. fly him into the cart. All right, Uda, Uda, Uda. Uh-uh. Um, I may have just done a bad. Oh. Okay. So, I check outside to see if Charcoal Gray has left. Still there, just watching you. No, My painter is back, too. I put up the uh, penguin gate. <laughs> is that my pizza gate? That sounds oh, so God. ridiculous, but I won't. Well, you, know, you know those like little like fucking fences that you put up when you want to keep a ca- when you want to keep like a pet out or a baby? Yeah, baby, Same I put thing. one of those up. That'll work. I can see yep. how we have. All right. I can see how we would have one of those. Okay, yeah, wait, uh, I haven't updated my skills yet. Yeah, Finner has it for permafrost in case it's, he wants to keep like, her out of something. It's like a waist high. <laughs> It's a waist high wall. It keeps anyone out, anyone who has a gun, for instance. Can yep. use it, can jump over it, it's great. Yeah, we should uh we should put those around our schools. Yeah. <laughs> uh school so, shooting salt. So we now have four chests of gold. We do, yeah. We do. Um they're also they also have some form of metal in them that makes one sick if you stay around it for too long. Okay. So... You're an alchemist. Yeah. And who's going to pull out of the bar? Yeah. That I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to... Uh, pick up a piece of paper... And just write a couple of notes down. And give it over to, to Usko. Uh, we're gonna need this. Uh, what's the, on the piece of the paper? Note, the, the note basically says just a list of things we need. Like a, a very... A well-equipped smelter and a ton of nitric acid. And probably hmm. some helpers. Uh, these are things we can compare down... Uh, Procure down at little uh, wing rest. Won't be cheap, mind you. But if it works, uh, well, we'll have enough money. Uh, we do have a million gold investment. That's also <laughs> also a large, a large, uh, um, not area. I don't know what the what's the word? Fuck it. I can't think of the word. It's annoying. <laughs> the list also contains several rubber items, basically. You know, right. gloves, like suits, all Check that kind of gear. shit. All of it, yeah, Would all of it. Can be a thing at this point in time. What? Hmm? Uh, there are a pop- there are assa- or not assassins. Uh, alchemists will understand how to work with acid. Oh, well, nitric acid is nothing new. Yeah. At all. Okay. It has been u- has been used to refine gold for centuries. Because it dissolves okay. almost any, it dissolves almost anything 
except gold. It's great. And given the level of technology that we are working with, on average, there is definitely rubber. Oh, At least totally. basic rubber. Because all rubber is is okay. like refined sap. And this is actually the perfect environment uh, where the where rubber trees would grow. Surprisingly <laughs> enough, this pro- place is probably pissing rubber. Yeah. Really? Oh my. Only, okay. The main problem. I'm going to say this in camera. Uh, main problem will be to find enough helpers who, you know, won't mind the danger. Although we don't necessarily have to tell them, mind you. But if they know what they're doing, they will find out. I love, no how, you, refer- I love how, you, uh, how you're saying this without even knowing what the contaminant is. I have a feeling it can be dissolved by acid. Because almost anything can. So, look, I'm going... <laughs> this is... This is basic alchemy. Just throw it in acid, see what happens. <laughs> it really st- is. Or an acid as an out gold. And it yeah. should be good. Yeah. I also did hand him like a okay. gold bar because I uh, actually Yeah, I didn't touch that. Yeah. I just, I just motioned just put it put it on the table there. I also may or may not have grabbed a gold bar while we were walking out of the factory at the first time. Yes. What do we need to put it in? What were the, the, the things? To, those boxes seemed heavy. What are they made out of? Lead. Let me find some lead. Yes. Lead boxes seem to be the safe, or the safest. I don't think I have any lead in my card. Well, it did say that the boxes themselves are made out of lead, so it should be easy to transport them. I'm really more worried about the, the single bar you put in my card next to me. Are you uh, well, me? when we get the boxes, I put the gold back in the. I put the bar back in the box. Okay, how about we get the box right now? Yes. <sighs> well. Again, I'm an alchemist. I know that certain things can kill you without you ever seeing them, or smelling them, or tasting them. Some things just kill you. I don't trust that gold bar. Holy shit, I don't. <laughs> yes. And you see, this is why material possessions are a bad, bad thing. You're just saying, <laughs> just from across. Are you actually. Where are you? Stand I think he's there. still way down there by the house. <laughs> he's still down there. I His imagine... condescending no. um, hipster no. sense is kicked in. I, I imagine he's in the shop. Just talking with the others. See, this is why material possessions are bullshit, brah. <laughs> I'm gonna take this right. model ship here, brah. It's, it's cute. <laughs> Chicken. Oh, yeah. yeah. I rolled for my craft alcohol. I rolled a 13. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. You made horse piss. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's not that bad. You know, you could have asked any of us for that. We could have made it cheaper. And more of it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. This was, this was stuff that I already had since, going. Okay, since they went to the priest, was that two hours ago or not? Mm, I'm going to say it's more like 40 minutes ago. Okay, then the potion is not nearly ready. I'm going to... I'm gonna, Go to uh, seriously. We should get the box right now. Yeah, we should get going. How much would that meat be worth? The, the horse piss meat. Yes. Well, you find that out. You're the brewer. Yeah, I did. I mean, That's what I rolled the thirteen for. Oh. Oh well, it would probably be shitty ale, and there, are, what, like two copper per per half a pound? Yeah. It's not good. <laughs> one one jug of below average ale. Sounds a good right. job, everything. It's get a, subpar. Maybe you can get like half a gold for it. You just said it was like two copper. Yeah, for one mug. You made more of it, I think. Right? But did you literally just made one mug of alcohol? I literally just made one mug. Oh. Well. <laughs> then 
Oh just, no, sorry, not a not a mug. I made like a jug of it, so like a gallon. Yeah, you made more of it, so you. Yeah. You know? Just sell it to the barkeep. The guy sells sells pool water. For fuck's sake, he won't care. I'd say that's <laughs> probably enough for like, what, ten people? Or well, one know, night's guy. Should sound. be enough for one night's guy. Give it to her as a present. No. She deserves better than that. Okay. You know what? My potion has to boil for like a, like another hour or so, so... How about we just go and get that box right now? That sounds like a plan. Yeah. In fact, I'm gonna... Here's what, here's what I do. I'm gonna get outside. Gonna pick up the penguin. <gasps> gonna put it in the cart so it watches the potion boil. Right, 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 right. There. And then I point to the potion. Pay attention to that. Don't let it explode. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Yes. I love how we're trusting a penguin with high explosives. It's not high <laughs> explosives. It's literally, it's, a, it's magic in a bottle. Also, it's a cure light wound potion, so... I mean, even if it does explode, chances are it will heal him at the same time. Or not. I mean, I'm not actually <laughs> sure. An explosion that heals you. I can actually... Well, I can't. Because of my archetypes, I can't use bombs. But there is a healing bomb. Where I literally put a cure yeah. spell inside a bomb and throw it at people and... Boop! Healed. It's weird. AoE heal. Why not? Well, yeah, but I can't use that. Yeah. I get I get other stuff though. It's all right. Anyway. I have good berries. <laughs> oh, better than member berries. Anyway. Let's go towards the factory. All right. So they're going towards the factory. I'm going to yeah. look out over the bay again. It is hooks yeah, think out there. Yeah, going to buy that cart and also some other stuff. Uh they don't sell carts here. <laughs> oh. Well, she's going to buy a dagger then. And meanwhile, while you're in there buying stuff, <laughs> Carbon Copy suddenly zooms out the room, falls to the ground, and vomits his guts out. Fuck. <laughs> Carbon, I'll be right back one second. Carbon, are you alright? I don't... <coughs> I don't feel so good. <laughs> Shouldn't have fucked that gold then. One second. <laughs> what did I warn you guys about? What did I actually warn Everything you guys about at right. the beginning of all of this? Fucking the gold. The material possessions and gold are not worth it. <laughs> bruh, bruh, I was gonna run to the, uh, run to the, run to the... Should've used the condom, bruh. <laughs> Should've used the Should've condom. Should've used the condom, bruh. Well, right. Look, look, a condom for an enemy is basically a big rubber suit. So yeah, that would've helped. <laughs> Right. Anyway, also, let's, go. Can, let's go. We have a problem. Have a can problem. I just point out something? Ben tries to buy a card. They don't have cards. So instead, his next choice is a dagger. <laughs> I need a dagger. Thank you very you much. Need a, you need a dagger to get a card. Yeah, I get I get. No, I need a dagger here. just in general. Mostly for one of my spells. <laughs> Look, if you can't buy a card, you get a knife and that will get you a card eventually. <laughs> <laughs> just have to find one. Well, lucky for you, they do have daggers. They're not very good daggers, though. I'll, I'll come. I'll come back for the daggers. First things first. We gotta take care of carbon. Can I? Oh. Can I sell my meat go. to? Go. go ahead and try. Shouldn't Usko be with me? Woo! I am with you. Yeah. So he's not in the car. What did I roll for that? Just diplomacy, I guess. Well, I can't. Where, I can't where? move your token, so. Where is Uda? Oh, down at the. I'm factory. at the factory. Down. Right. I'm down at the factory. I'll just move us go down to there. Yeah, and that would mean Poma for us just arrives to see your penguin staring at boiling bottles. <laughs> Wah. <laughs> it's it's the it's the surprised gopher from the Carmax commercials. <laughs> I mean. Maybe you can try and make 
Maybe Man. we can try and mix something to make Carbon Copy feel better. <laughs> Do we not have like cure disease yet? Um, no. Third, fourth level spells. Really? I don't think. Well, I don't have it, so let's see. Um. Connor? Hold on. Give so, me like... like, if I get this straight, we still haven't been told that the gold is slowly killing us. Delay disease? No, he told. Well, he told me. Uh. Okay, delay disease, delay poison are second level is second level stuff for me, so level three and onwards. So I don't have that. All right. So basically, what's going I on, Tris, is that the gold is radioactive, but it's in a lead-lined box to keep it safe. So the only reason why Carbon Coffee's sick is because he basically like dry hump the gold. Yeah. <laughs> Which is not, and he's really tiny, so of course it would have more effect on him. Yeah. Uh. So, all in all, bad life choices. Yep. So, it turns out that whole thing we, uh, you talked about with pigeons and mines actually did come true. Well. But we haven't actually been told that the gold is bad. Wait nope. a moment. I... Wait a nope. moment. Wait a moment. Wait, 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 wait. The priest. Could he have to lay disease or anything of the sort? <laughs> I don't think he has actual cleric levels. I oh, think he's just getting... basically a just a just a priest in just a priest in like no no job. I, mean, I mean don't wizards also get that spell? No, oh, fuck no. Fuck. All right, then never mind that. I thought they did. No, wizards for some reason don't get anything that really has to do with any kind of like positive right. energy. No no, okay fair enough. Uh, well, why would they? They're not clerics. Fair yeah, enough. Exactly. Witches get it. At level That's because witches are well, weird. You would think that you would think that if wizards can, if wizards have stuff that lets them deal with negative energy and yeah, manipulate it's... it, that they would also be able to do the other way. I, okay. well, anyway. They're not doing it the way that clerics do. They're not calling anyway. upon a deity. Anyway, anyway okay. uh, did you guys want to go into the factory? We want to get the box, yeah, and put the 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 gold bar in there again, and you know, close it. Got it. And then we can yeah. then we can heave the box slowly to the cart. We, we're not exactly under time pressure. I say as our enemy friend is literally dying. <laughs> well, we don't know that. Well, I, I honestly, I don't care. <laughs> well, that there's much. no more box tokens over there, so... Look, as an alchemist, if someone is dying from dry-humping precious metals, that's his own fucking fault. Because you just don't do that. <laughs> I have no sympathy for that. <laughs> so, I like how I was totally content to only take four boxes, but who's going full hog and stealing the fifth one, too? <laughs> no, we, honestly, at this point, I want the box. I want to put the gold bar back in the box and close the box. That's uh, my no, that's main a... thing. Nice. Every, everything all right, Permafrost. <laughs> so I go back into the room with the... There's still five boxes there for some reason, but oh well. And just <laughs> pretend there's only one. I I will p pretend there's only one. I will put the gold bar that I wrapped in a piece of leather, by the way. Ooh. And I'm holding it so, as far away from me as I possibly can. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the box. I'm going to close the box. I'm going to make sure it's fucking closed and sealed. And then I'm going to calm down a bit and prepare to heave it out of there. <laughs> How much was it? Like 5,000 pounds? It's pretty heavy. Yeah, roughly. Let's see. Uh, um, I'll be there to help him pull it out. Yeah, I can push and drag about a fifth of that. This is going to take a while. It'll take a while. But um, again, we we don't have a time to stay. Well, you do. It's called the Atomy dying. <laughs> well, we gonna... don't know we have a time limit. He's not going to die in the next hour. And if he is going to die in the next hour, then leaving right now isn't going to help anyways. Yeah, not at all. Well, let's see. So, yeah. Uh, so, Usko and Uda will spend the next 
hour, one and a half hours or so, just heaving the box back to the cart. It's not required. Well, no, instead of like heaving the box to the cart, we're just gonna. I'm. We should pull the cart up to the door and then put the box in the cart. Oh, we do that again. We have like over an hour to do it. It'll until take like only half an hour of that. Yeah, until I have to pay attention to the potion again. So we're gonna do that, and in the meantime, uh, there's permafrost in the cart with the penguin. And, and the can yes. Permafrost in the cart with the candle holder. So I'm kind of curious. Uh, what does everyone think Usko's alignment is? Mm. CN. Yeah. Chaotic neutral. evil. Chaotic good or chaotic neutral? Probably chaotic neutral. good. Neutral dick. Yeah, I'm also going to go with uh, chaotic good. Honestly, I'm wondering if it's lawful neutral. Uh, my god is true neutral. Just to let you know, I am a cleric. Yeah, so you can't go too far with that. Or maybe neutral evil, one of those two. Uh, my alignments are restricted. Neutral good, true neutral, lawful neutral, chaotic neutral, and neutral I'm going to say neutral good then. Evil. I'm gonna say neutral good because you're not chaotic enough for chaotic neutral. And I'm gonna and I highly doubt Chicken would have let you be neutral evil. Yeah, that's a point. I'm going with lawful neutral. Uh, Chicken never said never stopped anyone from being from being evil. Yep. Yes, but we were all. She was also worried about you being a cleric, if I remember correctly. I know she's worried about me being a wizard, which I'm not. Either way. So anyway, so we need to do something. Go in this boat. Huh? You do realize that what's taking. Uh, a few days with taking at least 48 hours of exposure is doing it to carbon in is affecting carbon in like a fourth of the amount of time. He only Again, got a sh he only got a short burst. We literally of weren't there to watch him vomit. We don't know how fast this shit's working. Hey, Misha. He only got a short burst of it. It wasn't for long contact, so. I mean, worst case scenario, his liver is shutting down or something. And he can survive that for another day or so. Anyways. Everything all, everything all right, Permafrost? Um. Ah, media. Media, of course. Yeah. Get Go and get Uzko and Uda. We need him here. Now. <laughs> Now I'm on it. Moving the car, damn it. No, no, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? Fuck it. The cart has to go down there anyway. <laughs> I apologize. Wait, but they were in the carts. So you would know about this. Look, you moved the cart. We moved the cart. Fuck it. No, that was an accident. <sighs> it was actually just tied to me. Oh my god. Fair enough. Fine. Okay. How about that? How about that then? Who's gonna come back you know to get the? Who's gonna come back to get the cart? Okay. Actually, no. How about this? I'll just hitch myself to the cart Uda? and drive or the cart down Or we just move the there. cart back and pretend you didn't move the cart. There. Uda, you're gonna Problem be stopped. I'm gonna... Go back. I just wanna... I just wanna put the cart back where it was. Too bad, you're gonna be stopped right here. There we go. From who? By who? Oh! Her. Okay, I'm gonna get stopped by... Whispers. The maid. The maid. She's going to hold, uh, to hold a hoof up. And then finally open her eyes. And okay. look at you and go. I hope you have a token for that. I got me a knife the ready. The lady has concerns as to your current actions in her factory. She would like you to leave the premises. Okay. Both of I'll... you. Okay. That was I plan. was hoping that you were going to have a token. <laughs> I am... I am literally on my way outside the factory right now. The only reason I'm still in it is because she's in my way. 
Yeah, but she did say both of you. She's kind of been expecting you to go I get can't, go, go I be can't there. Move, I can't move Usko's token, and he has problems with that, so... Well, just go down to him and talk to Hello. him, and I'll move his token for him. No, I would, here's the, I would imagine we both leave the factory to get the card. Uh, yes, I was just doing something else. Yeah. Okay. So we both. Leave. I want to say, I want to say that I hitched myself to the cart and basically just drove the cart down there. No, you have uh, no reason no to need. do so. The cart's back where it was. Jesus Christ! So basically, I yeah, I just leave. I just yeah, just wanted to do that, lady. Just no need to be a dick. Honestly, it's a thought. Honestly, here's the thing. I wonder here's if it thing. was the maid. Here's the thing. Of course it was the fucking maid. She's obviously evil. Give me a break. I wouldn't trust her if I can throw her. I no, here's the approach the maid. Uh, or as... I apologize. My apologies for our further involvement. Uh, we were trying to make sure that all the gold is packed in that chest. Safe and sound. She will just nod at you. Anyway, here's the thing. My main concern wasn't the the gold that's left there. My main concern was the lone gold bar in my wagon next to me. Oh, uh, yep. Look, we have nine tons of gold hidden away. Uda, Uda. What? Is, <laughs> what? We have a problem. Yeah, I just met her. No, the Atomy. What about him? He has a Carbon's, name. Carbon is sick. He has a name, you racist. Carbon is sick. Well, nothing new. I mean, he's vomiting. Oh, bodily. All right, yeah. That is new. <laughs> <coughs> All right, then. All right, where is he? He's in the cart. Also, I realized I left my chest just sitting on the ground. Why is every... <laughs> I'm just going to talk to myself. Why is everyone sick in my cart? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking... It is a laboratory. I make potions in there. I cook food in there. Why do you keep uh, vomiting next to it? <laughs> oh, I wonder why we keep vomiting. I wonder why we keep getting just sick in the cart. Just want to vomit in the food, obviously. Nobody... <laughs> I wonder why we keep getting sick. It couldn't be because the food is making us sick. Also, the chemicals in the laboratory. No, it's not, because I rolled really well for cooking so far. Really <laughs> you. you didn't accidentally put rat poison in the food yet. No, you just put that in your chemicals. The thing, yeah, the, the word here is accidentally. <laughs> just be happy I can't actually use poison because of my archetypes. Anyway. I can. I'm a zebra. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just a poor alchemist. Anyway. Is, for some reason, all zebras get poison use as a racial ability. That's so weird. Not at all racist, right? Racist. <laughs> they also get the ability to hold a gun sideways. And wear a hoodie. <laughs> anyway. anyway. In the cart, Carbon is... Well, he's, he's not looking as bad as he was outside of the shop, but he's still looking considerably paler than usual. Fucking hell. You know... He almost looks like he has features now instead of just being a tiny clump of coal. All right. Let's see. Who of us is actually... No, I am the closest one to a doctor that is around. Um... All right. He... Okay, he'll check. Go ahead. That's the most basic thing I can do. Short of... Check. Short of, you know, bloodletting. Let me just get my leeches. Good you know word. <laughs> Let's see. Well, fucking Should ten. <laughs> Usko yeah. just looks at him. Looks all right to me. He's fucked up. Looks as yep, bad as you usual. You know that he's sick. Do I? Okay. Uh, basic things. What does he have? Do I detect? You don't a fev know. Do, no. Do I detect a fever or anything? Is there oh, a discoloration of the symptoms. skin? Et yeah, symptoms, etc. What can I see? You can see that he's pale. Okay. You can see that, well, if you feel his forehead, he feels slightly warmer than he should be, but only right. slightly. It's not actually a bad sign. Um, How do you even feel his forehead? 
Or just punch. I just punch him with my forehead. <laughs> it's so tiny. Straight up, straight up punch him. Well, you for like a fingers, warm. you can put your muzzle to his forehead. But I don't yeah. think that's something you want to. Thanks. No, I don't. No, I, I just... Oh, you know, you could, you know, use the most sensitive okay. part of your body, which you, for some reason, I... persist to keep hidden. I don't want to put him in my ass. <laughs> okay, I look, look, I, I, we are literally standing in my laboratory. I probably have a th thermometer somewhere. Yeah. It should be enough to find out that he's a bit warmer than he should be. Uh, and the rest, blood pressure-wise, does it? Okay. How do I actually? From a cursory glance and the most basic symptoms I can see, does it look like he's dying immediately? No, he just looks like he has a bad fever. Okay. Uh... Actually, not even that. He looks like he has a mild fever. Well, I don't really know that much about enemies, but okay. All right. Well, there's not much I can do, to be honest. Um, I'm going to say he needs liquids, lots of them. So we should probably drown him in the ocean right now. <laughs> No, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell Permafrost and Media and Finner because I don't really trust those two to do anything worthwhile. <laughs> but Finner though, Finner seems like a competent guy. I actually pull out one of my jugs of water. Exactly what I mean. No, I'm gonna tell you, keep him at a steady temperature. Make him drink a lot. Make him eat if he can keep it down. Actually, make him eat even if he can't keep it down. Oh, please, no. I don't want to get anything into my stomach right now. You need to have something in your stomach, especially if it comes out again. Oh, spirits above. So, that's ba that's basically all I can do until we get to, well, an actual... I don't want to say hospital, but somewhere with, like... Well, anything more than I have. To a hospital. Not a well, not a not a hospital, but some a, an apothecary. a doctor. Yeah, an apothecary with like actual instruments and shit. Who can, can take we, a closer can we look just at it? Can get him. going? Can we get going? Um, I don't think. I think we have everything ready. Yeah, we should literally. Um, we should we just go? Hold on. Let's go. We'll hold up a hoof. Let's retrieve the money. This could get this treatment could get expensive. We'll retrieve one box. We could only carry one box anyways. Exactly. We get one box, mm -hmm. we go to to Wing Rest. I wanted to say yeah. West Ring. I'm tired. <laughs> so hold on. You're planning on circulating the cursed money. No. You don't know that it's cursed, by the way. As far as you know, it's just normal money, and we're rich now. Yep. Yeah, and I still want nothing to do with it anyway. It's pretty much character. Good for you. So, yeah, good for you. Good you for won't you. get sick then. Anyway. Where is he? Where is he, by the way? There he is. He was, a, <laughs> uh, he was staring at the ocean. <laughs> just, oh. just staring into the ocean with a wistful look in his eyes. <laughs> if oh, only I could... Young again. If only I could drown. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, to be a fish again. Oh, to be a fish again. Oh, to be able to dr to walk out and um, drown. It will be faster. It will be faster to get charcoal to bring the goal here. And we can take the card down. Either way. Either way, we should probably get going to wing rest. We're getting... We're getting going. Is that, is that right? It is. We're yeah. gonna get going. Sounds, it sounds weird. We no, we're getting going. Yeah. We're gonna get going. We're, yeah. going. we're gonna get going. We need to get. We need to actually get money in case this starts getting expensive to treat carbon. Totally. Like also, actual we to, concern. We also need to. So find we're going to pay them no. with the diseased gold. No, we're not. First of all, Did we do have stop gold worrying on about us. that. Yeah. D don't worry about it. It'll it'll be you're fine. You're starting to It'll be fine. Well, look, to be fair, we don't know the gold is diseased exactly. at this point. Exactly. So it'll Stop be fine. Stop metagaming. We don't do a thing. 
We go and do the thing. We have a plan. We get a box of gold. We get the box, yeah. Start right. heading down to uh, wing rest post haste. <laughs> box of gold. Yeah, we will have to be a bit slower than usual because the box is actually over the weight limit of the card. <laughs> but it should work out if we, if we don't get into like uh, difficult terrain or something. No, the route from Outsmith to Wingrest is actually yeah. quite straightforward. Yeah, so we, we literally just have to take care not to break the axles or shit like that. Yep. It looks like Media wants to do something before you leave. No, I'm good. I was just moving off of the cart before we break the cart out of the weight limit. Oh. Right. Because I'm pretty sure with everybody, with, yeah, you know, yeah. four different people on that cart, we're he not going to be able to... No, he has a point. We're overloaded by, let's see... That's a great placement of a lantern, by the way. I we know. Over... We're overloaded by, like, half a ton, give or take. That's manageable over a short, like, duration, but we shouldn't push it. Right. I mean, worst case Either scenario, way. we have to worst case scenario, we have to buy a new wagon. But uh, you know. before we leave, I make sure to buy some extra axles. Not a bad idea. <laughs> you mean wheels, I guess? But, actually, yeah. when when you overload a cart, it's not actually like the floorboards that you need to worry about breaking. It's the like wheels and axles yeah. of the cart that will break down. Yeah, exactly. No, I know what. And we doing. need some chalk for in case we need to ford the river. <laughs> it's a medicine for syphilis <laughs> and dysteria. <laughs> yep. So Oceana Trail. Oh no, Media broke a leg and died. <laughs> <laughs> well, time to roll up a new character. Oh, See there, guys. Was, there was a snake right. in the wagon See? and it ate See you guys. the enemy. <laughs> so, Would've all of you get going Mary. to Wingrest. Would you like to go there now? Uh, if nothing happens on the way, sure. Nothing yes. happens on the way. It's quite, how it's long? Quite, uh, how long will that take? It's a quite uneventful oh. half-day journey from Outsmith to uh, to so, Wing Rest. Twelve hours. Okay. Yep. I have one final thing before we go. Oh. All right. Um, while I'm sitting there in that boat, staring out into the uh, putrid sea, I hear the commotion. I hear them getting ready to leave. So I get up, and I leave a small sack of uh, ten gold on the uh, just under the seat <laughs> in the boat. Oh, that's sweet of you. Just under then I go. the seat. Okay, so here's the thing. While we're on the way, I'm gonna make two more potions, and let's see how much how much money I'm wasting trying to make alchemist's fire. <laughs> All, all made it. money. Made it. <laughs> Super made it. Okay. Three oh, five. yeah. Also, chicken. While we were there, I wanted to sell the alcohol that I had. To yeah, have you sold it for three copper. Well, I had yeah. another jug as well. All right. Then that's... Um, actually, I'm, I'm going to say you sell it for seven copper. Because this guy really wants some, you know, not completely crap alcohol. Okay. Well, I had, I also had a jug of whatever it was that I made before. Honey, lemon, spice mead is what I have written here. You already sold that. Did I? Oh, yes, okay. you did. Oops. Okay, then. Anyway, you arrive in Wingrest. After you've been traveling for those 12 hours and the horrible, gloomy, putrid beaches have slowly been uh, substituted with lush... Uh, landscapes and green grasses and once you arrive in wing in wing rest it looks like paradise in comparison <laughs> i will approach the first guard that we see they have the same lanterns though i approve excuse me uh good uh, good sir we require an apothecary for one of our ill companions Post of course the, the equestrian hotel is that building you see right over there he says pointing to this magnificent place here that is, you know, that's that's a good sign. He didn't stop and frisk you. Thank you for your kindness, sir. Have a good day. 
You too. I'll wave the rest of the party over. To the Equestrian Hotel. I suppose we go to the Equestrian Hotel. How's the water around here? Wet. Well, as, as far as you can tell, watery. Clean? Clear? Quite. It's wet. What more you want? Also, I'm sorry, I uh, kind of rushed getting this map in here, so... That's okay. That's cool. Oh, look at the old lady. What is the worst? What is the worst thing you can answer to that? What's the water here? Solid. <laughs> Gaseous. <laughs> Steamy. Completely hot. no, just completely solid ice. What is the water here like? Oh uh, no, it's not. It's actually that's actually surprisingly dry. Very dry. It's very dry water. You have to add water to make it water. Okay, so we, uh, want to say we parked the cart somewhere. Just really across the street, probably. Like around here. Do we do we leave the gold in there? Or are we taking the gold with us? Zephy, it's five thousand pounds. Yeah, and charcoal can carry it. Yeah, but who else would steal 5,000 pounds of radioactive gold? And even if they do, they'll die. So who cares? Um, the fact that someone could just open up the case and take out a gold bar and leave. Yeah, and then he will die. So. That's Not karma before right getting there. other people sick. Still right, karma. and then and then that gold bar gets picked up by somebody else who Look, we gets have, sick and dies. We have an enemy to take care of. We literally are leaving a cart next to a guard. We can leave it there long enough to get our fucking friend checked into a hospital. <laughs> it literally we looks just... like you shoved it into his face. <laughs> we go out. We get out again. Yes. The guard is wearing just gold jewelry all over. <laughs> He's bejazzed. Yeah, nothing. What? I took care his, of you. His gold. entire his entire suit is bejeweled. <laughs> He's, just be, He's bedazzled. He just bedazzled himself with gold. Yeah, has like a giant, giant gold chain with guard on it. I knock on the door. Uh, that's not knock, a door. Knock, knock, that's that's knock. That's the window. I'll uh, stay and look after the cart. If that's not a door, door. what is it? That's a window. The door Never is. Never mind then. I don't knock on the uh, window. Way <laughs> down here. Oh, wait no, you there. totally okay. knock on the window. And knock on the window. How much is that pony in the window? How much is that enemy <laughs> in the window? He's yes. almost dead. He should be cheap. Also, I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to Carbon. No. No, we all, just, Car- we all just run down there for no reason, really. Uh, Where did Carbon go? What do you mean? He disappeared. Uh, oh, he, he did. Did you delete him? Really? Already sure. dead. Oh, god damn it. He went, I think Ban grabbed him, and he went flying off somewhere. Okay. Don't blame this oh. on other people, Zephy. Well, oh, gotta copy myself a carbon. <laughs> Look, you have to make another carbon copy. See, this is... <laughs> there he is, I found him! Oh, you found him. But dun 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 Where was he? He got uh, magic into this room somehow. With Media's chest. <laughs> okay. Where? Where? Where is Down, he? Uh, Wait, did someone market. take my chest? In that house. Oh, oh, I see it. Okay, I got it. I'll bring them back. The fuck? No, no I'll yeah, bring them back. They're, they're, they're stuck Wait, in that. Yeah. I've got them. <laughs> no! Let go. <laughs> I mean it. You can't move can't through get the shadows, out. so... Yeah. There. Now you can move Knock, it. knock, 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 knock. The door is open. Ch- gonna move your chest. There go. I can't well, actually see it. inside the building. We that's can't because move it to I'm the having, yeah. uh, That's because I'm busy bringing back icons that you somehow managed to get lost inside a wall. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Let's they blame the people who are actually at fault, and by that I mean Zephy. Yes, I'm sorry that I have abilities to face through objects. It's not my fault. Oh my god, what is wrong with that horse? Yeah. <laughs> Don't stare, it's rude. <laughs> rude? <laughs> Wait, which one? Well, somebody should tell that eye. to her. She's like a... staring at me. 
<laughs> Looks like a perfectly normal horse. Right then. Ugh. Anyway. Anyway. I'm gonna get Where in. did you? What did you model that token off of? Ugh. Iris from Ruby Gloom. I don't know what that is. Nope. Uh, where's <sighs> Walk over to the bartender. Do you know where we could uh, get apothecarial help? One of my friends is sick. Of course, you can get that right here, traveler. Brilliant. Um, where do we check in and how much is it? That depends how much you got. <laughs> yeah, that's what you want to hear now. Can we hear this conversation it? until after he gets until after he gets help, or at least until he gets checked in? I, Shouldn't uh, we go to the hospital first? Yeah. In second. I would love to negotiate the price of this, but let's do it. But this will take longer, and we don't know how long my friend has. You have a sick companion, of course. The maid will take uh, will take him to the hospital floor. I love how the hospital clearly has a bar counter in it. Well, yes, it's a bar, it's an inn, and it's a hospital all in one. Bar spit. Bar spit. Bar yes, the, the most hygienic of, of options. I kind of... <laughs> okay, can I just... I want to be honest. I kind of want to get the... Give it's the a big eyed pony. I want to give the big-eyed pony a potion of enlarged person. Just because. God damn it. Anyway. All right. No. I will leave shortly. Then I will come back. At, this is all assuming he gets taken. Uh, carbon copy gets taken. Yep. I'll go with. I'll so, go with. After yeah. after he gets taken in, uh, Usko will tell the bartender wait a moment. Then he will leave and come back with a like a fifty a fifty gold like bale of saffron. Throw it on the table. <laughs> oh Jesus! Where did you get that? Uh, it's what I use for. Mo it's what I bought with most of my uh, equipment money. That's fair. You you could honestly have just asked for fifty gold from me. You don't, uh, have, to pay, you, you don't look, have to pay people in Naturalia. Okay? Look, motherfucker. It's the most impressive thing I can throw on the table. <laughs> and it certainly is uh, impressive. <laughs> There's more of that. The bartender's that eyes widen and, uh, and she... Um, uh, uh, as she appraises the saffron and goes, Well, blimey. Well, that would definitely do. Welcome to the Equestrian Hotel. Thank you Thank very, you. very much for your patronage. Of course. Thank you for helping a friend. It's the least we can do here. And I'll buy a round of drinks for me, Usko, and Octav Octavo. Don't worry, it's all included in uh, in the check-in price. It better be. Oh, really? Well, just as a personal thing, can I buy two apples from you? Of course. How much? Uh, for two apples, one copper. Fifty All gold. Right. Toss her a copper. She grabs it and she gives gold. you two apples. Everything here is fifty gold. <laughs> Whether it be like half a broken cup or a staff of the magus. <laughs> Everything gold. is fifty gold. What about that Holy Grail 50 gold? No, we have a sale, 49.95. Cool. Anyway, I'm going to wait for the dog. Holy Avenger 50 gold. How much for how much for this broken cup 50 gold? <laughs> I'm going to How much for the staff of the dragon? I'm going to go in there and wait for the doctor to show up to give him my notes. <laughs> well, look, that they're not very good notes, but I had an eye on the guy, and I am still a doctor. <laughs> sort of. Anyway, as you, uh, as you wait for the doctor to turn up, so she does. <laughs> God, I, like, I love how she just phases through the wall. Yep. Here yeah, I am. <laughs> Excuse me, need some space? I'm, go I'm going to move the penguin out of the way. Permafrost, yeah. that means you will. Literally oh. just picked it. I picked the penguin up and throw yeah, behind me. Good place with her. Sure. There you go. Making it worse, Ben. You are literally making it yeah. worse. I'm gonna make some I'm apple, apple cinnamon. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna. A... Yeah, I'm. I'm not. 
while she looks at carbon copy, I'm gonna tell her what I found. Mild fever, can't keep his his food down, etc., etc., etc. Right. All the the stuff we found out over the last day. These aren't uncommon symptoms, but they could all they could all lead to many different many various diseases. Do any of you know how he got sick? I'm gonna to look to Usko because I'm not fairly not really sure how much we want to tell her. I will shrug. Well, in that case, treatment is going to be difficult. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I was looking at something else. Uh, what? She's asking how cop- uh, how carbon copy got sick. We're not sure. Um, some sort of illness. It's. You'll have to ask Usko, or not Usko, Uda. Like, uh, <laughs> You'll have to ask my, you have to ask my, my twin brother, Usko. <laughs> I'm gonna get him. Leaves the door, comes back in. Hi, I'm Usko. No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll my eyes just slightly because this guy's such a bad liar. That's coming from me, and I'm a bad liar. No what is that lot. noise? Good lord. Sorry, I had it a bit too loud. No, I mean the the weird noise oh. that just went in it. Anyway. I have no idea. Uh, there it is again. Anyway, I'm going to look to the doctor and say, uh, we came into contact with some undead, and he was basically right on top of them, so perhaps mm. a sort of negative energy thing. Some... It happened really fast. Went yeah, in there, no. and we went in there, we fought undead the morning after... He was like this. No, this does not look like any uh, anything inflicted by the undead. She says that she uh, lifts uh, lifts ca- uh, Carbon's tiny little uh, little, uh, little chin, shines a light in his eyes, just general uh, generally uh, <laughs> examines him. Just a gigantic flashlight that covers his entire body. Just follow, the, <laughs> follow the light. He's not following the light. I think he's blind now. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I figured out what the noise was. It was me because for some reason this set of headphones has a mic attached on the side of it, and that was right. like buried inside okay. of a sleeping bag. That was oh. a mysterious noise, and it was Zephy. How weird! How inconceivable! <laughs> Why am I on top of Fiener? You know what? Fiener's riding on my back. This is okay. It's it's not. No, he's riding on your head. (laughs) That's fine. He's wearing my hat. We actually... I'll just tell her, fuck it. Don't have to tell her. We were, uh... We fought these undead in... God damn it, Zephy. I'm gonna find you and kill you. We fought these undead in Outsmith. As far as she I know, there was She immediately freezes and looks at you. Outsmith? A... Outsmith, yes. As far as I know, there was a sickness going around. That's more or less why we were hired to take care of the town. Well, the problem if, you've been the town. To, uh, if you've been to Outsmith, there's a, uh, there, are, uh, there, uh, there are all of two things it can be, and neither of them are very good. Well, we gathered that. Did you ingest any of uh, any of the uh, any ill-cooked food in uh, in Outsmith? Did you drink any of the water? Cop- uh, uh, carbon copy corpse and goes, not that I can remember. I only ate what he prepared. I didn't he touch the stuff they gave us. I didn't touch the stuff they gave us. Wise, quite a clever decision. What would the other thing be? Well, I haven't even told you what the first thing was. Well, I... I gathered it was the food or the water (laughs) there. Because you'd ask about it just now. The other contaminant he might have uh, have come into contact with would be a special metal which they make in Artsmith. Although it's been out of production for many, many years now. And rightly so. Well, Cubby's eyes uh, widen and his pupils shrink. But I'm, what no, kind of metal? I'm gonna, sh- I'm gonna shush him. I'm gonna shush him. 
Just in a way, shh, shh, don't don't talk. You're sick. It's okay. I'm gonna tell her for you. <laughs> yes, I'm terrible. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna shush him and tell her. We did visit the the old mining factory they had, so it might be possible we came into contact there. <laughs> Oh, spirit! You went to the refinery. Ugh. We did, yes. Well, at least now we know what. Uh, at least now we know what he's suffering from. I must uh, ask all of you to leave. Uh, very well. Wait. Oh. I'm sorry. His treatment will be, uh, will uh, will begin uh, shortly. Don't worry. He's in good hooves. But we must have a sterile environment to work with. Absolutely. Lusko will leave post haste because he wants his friend to get fucking treated. I'm going to wait until I'll the others... Just... Gonna Come on, the Fiener. Disheartingly stand by the door. Come on, Fiener. Are you... <laughs> the dragon is still in there. No, oh, you face us through the door. Um, <laughs> I'm going to stay like a second longer before I just my hoof on the door. <laughs> I see my, my tentacle at the door. Because, you know, it's more convenient when no one's around. <laughs> I'm going to say, if it... Wouldn't be too much to ask. Once you are done preparing him, could you give me the notes on your uh, on the cure? Well, usually it's uh, not really something that we would uh, like to share with civilians. Are you a doctor? I... Yes, I am. Well, in that case, I'll be more than happy to uh, to provide the notes, especially if you're on the road and you must leave before uh, before the treatment is completed. So it will take a while. It will take some time. But then yes, I would then I would like the note so I can continue the treatment. Yes. But seeing as you caught it in this early stage, he'll likely live. Don't worry. He'll likely penis, live. However, his penis Wait will fall off. <laughs> I love how she said that right in front of the subject. Or right in front of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Calvin Calvin is going to pipe up. Likely, your your bad manners are very good, Don't. lady. Thank you. I know. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet a doctor who's worse than me. <laughs> okay, well, open your mouth and then we start the treatment. No, your other <coughs> mouth. <laughs> right then. No, I, I will just I will just nod gravely to her, but thankfully, and then just leave and close the door behind me. Yeah. Then immediately beat permafrost, which will make my day worse. Well, okay. I'm feeding. I'm feeding Fiener like the leftover apple, the leftover <laughs> slices of apple. Can penguins even eat apples? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. They, they're carnivores. They are. They, they, I don't think you can. I don't think they can digest apples. <laughs> ah, whatever. I mean, he eats. look, he eats scrolls. Who cares? <laughs> He's a magical creature, so the he rules is... really don't apply in this case. And he's not he's he's not our familiar, so whatever. If he dies, we're not we're not getting fucked over. I'm giving him some tasty tasty apple pieces. <laughs> tasty tasty, just eat them all. Eat all of them. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell Permafrost and Usko who's still there that they shouldn't enter again. The doctor needs his uh needs the place quiet and, you know, germ-free, and that we will get the notes for the treatment because it will take a while. How long will it take? Didn't ask. Unimportant right now. Fiener, please. <laughs> probably, Fiener, longer please. Than we, probably longer than we can stay here. Why are you hunting the penguin? I'm not. I'm trying to catch him. <laughs> I, I just... Oh my fucking god. I, I will literally shoot the penguin. Fiener. I will. I made like four alchemist fires. I can set him ablaze. I don't fucking care anymore. For that matter, I can burn media while I'm at it. Anyway, I'm gonna tell them, yeah, it will probably take longer <coughs> than we can reasonably stay here. So, a couple of days at least. Honestly, I would guess a week. Well, However, we don't exactly we... have a timetable. Well, hmm? 
we don't have time to. We have to get underway sooner or later. Of course. And I don't want to stay in. I don't want to stay a week here with nothing to do because our money will run out eventually. What? What are you talking about? We have an entire chest. <laughs> <coughs> Didn't you just hear what she said? Uh, actually, I did kind of uh, miss that. What is in character? Moving on. Wait, what? In character, I'm going to look to. I, I kind of. I'm going to look to promo first. We do, but considering what we just heard, I think it's wise to not spend the gold just yet. Maybe we should take some precautions. Make sure whatever made Carbon Copy sick isn't also in the gold somehow. Uh, we could have just gone right over this. So that's what this entire thing was about. The gold is toxic. No, you would not arrive at that. That's bullshit, Zephy. No, it really isn't. <laughs> That's like the one thing that we found. Yep. Actually, the one thing that Carbon Copy touched. You in found that metal place. inside the. We touched. We touched a lot of things inside that factory. You do realize that we were in a fucking forgery, right? Yeah. Point being, I'm I'm not leaving Carbon. Well, no, we don't leave him. Well, right now we're leaving him with the doctor, but we're not... You're like, right. We're not we abandoning don't leave him, him here. We kill, we kill him and take his body with us. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? I told you it will take a while. I'm just going to leave that. We're not wave-splittering him right now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he just wants to go to the toilet. He's probably dead by now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go outside, and then I'm going to take a... Closer look at those giant eyed ponies. <laughs> well, they look at uh, they turn uh, they turn around as you draw near and look at them, and the red headed one goes, "Hi, nice to meet you." So, what are you doing here in Wingrest? I'm gonna touch my I'm gonna touch my forelock because I don't have a head to tip. Just go. <laughs> we just uh, we have a sick companion, and we brought him here to be treated. I see. Yeah. Wingrest is the best place to go for that. How do I how do I politely ask why she has a gigantic single eye? <laughs> now you're talking to the redheaded <laughs> one right now. Yes, but I'm more interested in the other one. <laughs> I'm just um I'm Okay, I got it. I'm gonna look at both of them and say, uh are you by trans related to each other? <laughs> they look at each other and then they both giggle. <laughs> no, silly. Although, uh, although we're, we're flattered, I guess. <laughs> yes, I totally meant that as a compliment. Sure. <laughs> I'm just standing there smiling. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I just was taken aback by your features. It's the eye, isn't it? It is, a very, it is a very beautiful eye, my lady, yes. It's okay, I've heard everything so uh, so far. <laughs> Don't no worry, lady. it's not contagious or anything. I was born with it. I think it's kind of fun. You probably get an eye full of comments every time. <laughs> <laughs> You've probably seen it all. I slap Uda in the back of the head <laughs> for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for eyeing you the way I did. I slap Udo in the back of the head again. <laughs> I'm not saying no. I'm not saying that in character. That's well, look, that sooner or later you're gonna start eye to eye, eye, huh? I slap Udo in the head in the back. Of the I head didn't even that say one. that. I didn't even say that. She did. <laughs> yeah, but you were the closest. I didn't say the other things either. I didn't say that in character. It would be dumb. No, I'm gonna say well, no, I. I I Captain. Wouldn't, I would. <laughs> I wouldn't. Th wouldn't think of saying anything against it. It looks very beautiful on you. Oh, flattery won't get you anywhere. Well, I beg to differ. You're, you're quite the looker, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you suck, Sephi. You fucking. You just fucking suck. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're so bad. <sighs> So 
So, Hund, I'm curious, what are you trying to accomplish? I just, I'm just trying to have a bit of small talk, find out a bit more about them in the town. <laughs> okay. And so far, all we've gotten are eye puns. Yep. And some I eye I don't see the bad paint thing about that. <laughs> talk about eye candy. Ugh. Uh, anyway. Well, I no, think I'm we gonna... all need to go drown ourselves now. <laughs> don't get that teary. Don't get all teary eyed on me. Anyway. <laughs> no, I'm going to. I'm going to say. So when she said flattery won't get you anywhere. Well, back to differ, ma'am. Brought me here. Oh, after all. you think you can keep up with May... me? Well, I can certainly try. However, I was. We just arrived in town. I was wondering if anything is going on here. You see, we'll probably stay a couple days to wait until our compatriot gets better. Eh, no, I don't really think anything's going on in Wing uh, in Wing Rest. I mean, we hold parties once in a while, but it's a pretty boring town, if you gotta ask me. Iris thinks everything's boring, if you gotta ask her. A uh, boring and peaceful are two drastically different things. And well, then trust what... me, this is peaceful. Well, yeah, well then, uh, a missing nightlife notwithstanding, is there anything you can spend your time here? Oh, oh! We do this thing where we where we catch uh, where we catch a wild boar and then we ride it all around town if we. Iris, that's just you. Her name is Irene. Iris. Because it's Iris. Iris. Fuck you. Because it is. Because it is. That actually sounds like fun. <laughs> it, uh, that, that... I know, right? It's just so much fun. It sounds like the town white snowball fights that we that we have back in my village. <gasps> you come from a place with snow? Oh my god! You have to tell me about that. I come from the northern mountains of Equestria. Ah, oh, that's so far away. I've not been to Equestria. What's it like? Well, well, where I'm from, there's lots of snow. Well, the people there tend to have death perception, so that's weird <laughs> for you, I guess. Uh huh. Snow. Yeah. Uh huh. And well, the town I'm from is mostly full of people like me, alpacas. Oh, you're so fluffy too. Doesn't that get really, really hot here, though? I mean, we're in the tropics right now. It's gotta be really hot. Nope. Strangely enough, it's not really that bad. That's so cool, though. Man, imagine the cost for contact lenses. <laughs> then again, you only need one. <laughs> so yeah. I guess they would just put the, co put the cost together. Anyway, well, while, Ze uh, while Zephy talks with Iris, the redhead one leans over to Uda and goes, So, I guess you want to know why she's got one giant eye. Oh, I can guess. I'm a doctor, you know. Yeah, she was born in Outsmith. Oh, we just can't come from there. Yeah, we figured. Most travelers do. I gotta oh, admit, she... Wingrest is a really nice reprieve from Outsmith. That's certainly different. Well, I, I can see she leads a healthy life, so... She does now, luckily. Yes. Anyway, I was wondering, uh, what does this town provide in terms of um, merchants? Is there a market? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's right down the street. You can go there and buy pretty much anything you like. We were we were on the look for a a cart or a wagon. Oh sure, there's a traveling carpenter in town right now. Ah, that is good to know. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, and uh, if you see my friend Misery, tell her that um, that thing that she wanted me to make uh, to take care of is taken care of. Well, of course. What does she look like? Um, you can't miss her. Uh, just, just go for the various sounds of "ow." Right. Oh. Unlucky. Well, you know what they say: misery likes company. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I had a long day. <laughs> uh, that was too long to actually flirt. <laughs> yes. Anyway, I will look to Media and Finner, who are actually, it seems like, quite busy talking to the Cyclops. <laughs> Rude. The nice Cyclops. I mean, come on. If he's not talking to that to her, he's uh, he's at the bar drinking. It's not rude to call her by her scientific term. The penguin, the penguin is drinking. Yes, he's drinking yep. water. Of course he is. Yeah. Quote unquote like, water. Has like a flask. Vodka. He has a flask hidden You'll somewhere know. under his wing. <laughs> Quote unquote water, possibly yeah, vodka. Yeah. You'll never know. Just water, quack quack. Don't judge me, quack quack. Anyway. And yes, permafrost is still sitting outside the door of uh, Carbon's room. Yeah, and then I'm going to look yep. at Usko and say, well, I'm going to try and get another card. Maybe we can find a smelter too. <coughs> Sounds like a plan. Off we go then. Oh, Iris, this is our party leader, Finner. <laughs> Hi, Finner. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh he's a cruel, he's a cruel and brutal taskmaster. taskmaster. Who is the cutest brutal uh, taskmaster? <laughs> yes, and then I'm gonna actually before I go, before I go, my hoof on the door. I just turn back to the red haired one. I'm awfully sorry. I didn't ask for your name. Oh, sorry. I must have forgotten. It's Ruby. Ruby, and your friend was called Misery. Yep. If we meet her, we will tell her. Thank you. Hope to see you later. Uh, you too. Be... Have a nice day. Oh, I'm just busy buying Iris's. I'm just busy buying Iris drinks. <laughs> I have a feeling that is misery well, actually, right there. Well, actually, they're provided, so we're basically <laughs> just we're basically just chatting over drinks, having a good time. Matter of Holy fact, trying to get in her pants. <laughs> matter of fact, I oh. will. I will stand next to to Usko. And point to the utterly miserable looking pony <laughs> and say nothing. Just. And as you do that, a branch in the tree rips itself loose and falls directly on top of her. She just goes, ow. Yeah, that's her. Uska will nod. Right. Will nod sagely. Yeah, I'm gonna. F I actually, before I go, I will. Uh. We'll make sure I have one of the potions on me. So look at it. Have it ready. Okay, now we can go. I made a potion of shield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't trust this anything anymore. I'm going to approach her carefully, like one would approach a wounded deer. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, she's getting out from underneath the branch. Or rather, okay. she's standing up. The branch is still on her head. Then, then it falls off and just looks at it. Uh, must be a Monday. I will pick up the branch. Drop it on her again. <laughs> that'd be, no, that'd be mean. I'm going to pick up the branch and just hold on to it for now. And just oh. say... Hi. Hello, miss. Excuse me, are you... Are you called Misery by any chance? Isn't it obvious? Well, I try not to go by first impressions. It's it's rude most of the time. Yeah, uh, your this friend, is me. Your friend Ruby told us that she did the thing you asked her to do, and we should give you this message if we meet you. Oh, thanks. I can always count on Ruby. She's such a good friend. Why didn't you name her Ior? <laughs> or Iorina? Because she's called Misery. Or Iorina. I imagine she based them off of a character. Probably. I'm still gonna guess her her cutie mark is a tacked on donkey tail. <laughs> <laughs> Seems legit. Well, you can't see it because she's wearing a full dress, but it probably is. That's okay. Um, I've got. I'm I'm getting ready to go and then look at the tree again, the branch, and I mean. The big lump that forms on her head by now, I think. <laughs> For a bunch of tiny horses living in a tropical area, a lot of them sure do wear plenty of clothing. Mm, eh, 
Well, fashion. she's wearing plenty of clothing, but it's all pretty light. You can't argue with fashion. Anyway, I'm gonna look at her. Um, um, Miss, are you all are you all right staying here? There are yeah, an awful I'm lot of fine. There are an awful lot of branches up there. I'll be fine. <sighs> this happens to me like all the time. I I have no response to that. <laughs> I look at Uda, look at Misery, look at Uda, shrug. Yeah, I look back and truck too. <laughs> well, uh, I'll. Okay, Miss. Uh, have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Who's cool? Shrug. Um, put a hoof on his holy symbol, and then place a hoof on uh, Misery, and say, "May the lady, of, may the man of fate protect you." Now we'll use a bit of luck on her. A shiver goes through her. That felt weird. Witch! Witch! <laughs> Witch! He's going around casting spells. Burn him! He put a curse on me! Put a curse <laughs> on me! I'm lucky now. I don't okay. like this. Everyone hates me. <laughs> Let's see. How many How many of my tokens are there? One, two... I know there was one in the bar about it. I want to avoid my tokens because they're weird. <laughs> so now she just has a little bit of luck. The moment you turn uh, you turn around, another branch falls on her. A bigger one. God damn it. Fuck she goes, you. ow. Again. I'm gonna... <laughs> Actually, while we're going away, I just hear the, the smack of the branch on her head. But I'm still holding I'm... the other branch. Oh, I just, God. I, no, I look to Usko and say, uh, so... That a curse or what? Maybe it's gonna take a bit more than a bit of luck. Yeah. Oh well, she seems to be happy with it though. Well, happy, quote unquote. You mean content? <laughs> she she seems content with it. Well, she seems to survive it. Yeah. Maybe it's just a curse of getting branches falling on your head all the time. That, that's livable. Although I wouldn't stand under trees. Oh well. <laughs> Uh, there's the market. Hey. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what does look like a traveling carpenter? The traveling carpenter looks like it is. Um, I want to say here, a tenter pony. Right. That's good. I'm gonna point that out and just go straight to it. Wonderful. And actually, As you go to, straight gonna... to it, you also pass another card which sells nothing but chains. Well, that's... nice. You're on the wrong side of the card, by the way. But I thought it was up here. Yeah, but you want to be the... on this side. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, okay. I'm just I'm just passing the, the bad pony down there and going <laughs> up here. Uh, and then you stood in, in, inside each other. Yes. I'm just going to let Usko do the talking here. Good morning. Afternoon. What fucking time is it? <laughs> Afternoon to you too. <laughs> Maybe I should have done the talking. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. <laughs> anyway, he says afternoon to you too, good traveler. What can I do for you today? Good sir, I want to buy a purchase. fucking card. Well, All that's right, that. definitely doable. I'd like I to buy your cart. I didn't say that out loud, because that would be <laughs> weird. <laughs> I want to buy your cart. You have, like... have a bar of gold. <laughs> oh my god, Zephy. We'd like oh. to buy a cart. Well, that's definitely doable. Now, how big you want uh, you want this cart? Um... Dimension of cart, dimension of cart, dimension of cart. About, about... How uh, about enough to hold, like, 12 people? About three bodies, no, about three bodies wide and four bodies long. Regular pony bodies, of course. And would it be Two possible... Two bodies high. Yeah, would it be possible to get its wheelbase reinforced so we can handle larger, uh, no. Heavier loads. Heavier, thank you. 
heavier loads? Well, it's going to cost a little extra, but yep, that's definitely doable. How much extra? Sure. Let me just see. I'm trying to see if I can find the carts in here. Or the wagons. One bar of gold. Let's see. It's, um... Well, it's another heavy wagon you want, right? Well, basically, a reinforced one so we can load more than 4,000 pounds. Right. Yeah, he looks at his... Uh, he looks at... His checklist for materials and uh, his prices and whatnot, and then he goes, right, a reinforced heavy cart would be uh, 150 gold pieces. That seems reasonable. All right. It's also going to take a bit to, uh, to make. Like... No, that is, that is fair. Um, I'm uh, sorry. How I'm... long? Hmm? How long? Oh, it's going to take roughly four days. Convenient. Very. It's almost like someone planned it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to get out my money purse <laughs> thing, <laughs> my money purse thing, and then stop and look at. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not sure about the local customs. Would it be okay if we pay you half of the money up front and the other half when it's done? Sure thing. I wouldn't have it any other way, stranger. Very well then. I'm gonna give him uh, like 75 gold. He's gonna take it and write something on his list. Alrighty, and I suppose you'll be staying at the equestrian. We will, yes. Correct. We have a fr we have a friend in the in the local hospital. I will send you a note the moment the cart is done. Um, what names do I make this out to? Usko uh, and Uda. Usko and... Uh, how do you spell that? D just put down Usko. Alright. Putting down Usko. Seems easy. <laughs> and there put we go. Put that lethal go. injection in Usko. <laughs> <laughs> a pleasure doing business with you, gentlemen. I hope you have a nice day. You, you too. too. Sir. You too. Uh, if I may ask, do you know if there's a smelter in this town? Oh, of course, it's right next to the equestrian. Ah, thank you very much. You're quite welcome. <sighs> so, uh, Chicken, I'm just kind of wondering, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much were you expecting us to make off with, like, a million gold? Uh, I wasn't really expecting anything, actually. I just we... fucking rolled with it. We don't have the money yet. Matter of fact, I have a but... we have to pay quite a lot of that million to make it usable. Think of it this way. If we did make off with the million gold, you were going to die from horrible sickness and turn into zombies. Yeah. If we use it now, that would be a terrible idea. Well, you know what? We're we're in the process of making out with a million gold. Give me it's a break a nice, here. It is a nice midterm goal. Connor, we just, we just found out that making out with the gold is bad. Uh, we're in the process <laughs> of making out with the gold. Maybe we need I to can... put on. We need to take safety precautions. All right. Anyway, we I mean, you Trojan. just saw what happened to our friend. Clearly, making out the making out with the gold is bad. Like, obviously, going bareback is not optimal. Yeah, you should have protection, <laughs> like big rubber gloves and suits. Anyway, we will. Uh, okay, I'm gonna pass all the other. Like stands and make a mental note of buying fresh fruit later on. And okay. Seems to, well, I sure think this is. Seem, well, there is a fresh, uh, fresh fruit market there. Right. Yeah, there is. I, I can see yes. it. I'm gonna make a mental uh, note because first I want to go to the smelter. Well, it being 4:30, may be a good time to stop. Yeah. Yeah, we can. I'm gonna mm -hmm. stop in front of the smelter. Mm -hmm. Is that right here? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, I'm gonna it's stand right there. Here. How about we deal? Let's deal with the smelter, and then we'll just kind of. No, we can do that next we'll... time. Are I'm you sure? Just... I, I'm really tired. I can hardly. Talk Delta. To... I, I cannot <laughs> talk to NPCs right now. It's. Uh... It'll also give me more time to actually furnish this map a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> and make sure we don't cheat you. Yep. Yes. <laughs> meanwhile, back at back at the inn or back in the bar, looks like you have an eye for detail. 
<laughs> I was just trading eye puns back and forth now. Is there yep. an assassin and skill that's so we can hire? Her pants. <laughs> what now? Nah, for an assassin skill, you want to go to Alicove. <coughs> Good. Good to know. Well, actually, well, really, I was asking what Connor said. Uh, Media is totally trying to get in her pants. No, yes. they're just trading back iPhones. Totally no, trading. No, no, no. You're, you're wanting to No, you can trade. You can trade pawns with someone, and not be trying to get in their pants. Well, true, but you're still trying to get in their pants. Plus, that yeah, expression that's doesn't work with ponies. Plus, that expression doesn't work with ponies because they don't wear pants. I some do. I'm wearing pants. Is your pony wearing pants? I thought he was just wearing a yeah. cloak. Uh, no, that's Uda. I'm wearing like full cleric vestments. Yeah, I'm just wearing cloak I'm, pants. I'm, I'm basically wearing a lab coat. Yep. Um, I Uda U Usko never got to wear like any of his religious iconography outside of his temple. So he's totally taking advantage of that of that here. By wearing pants. Okay, Reli so... Holy pants. Um, I want to point something out here. Your magical yeah. underwear? Okay, yeah. to, to refine one box, like one box of that gold, 5,000 pounds, we will need about 2,500 liters of nitric acid. That is a lot. Yes, uh, that is actually what... Alchemists or, or acid flasks are. Yeah. So a fuck ton of acid flasks. A ton. Better we need to find a professional alchemy supplier. Someone who has like tons of that shit in store, in stock. Oh, one second. Uh, let me look up how much look, that is. Look, Usko. You said how many liters? You said twenty-five hundred. Usko's underwear is what provides most of his armor. It's um, it's half a liter per pound, basically, more or less. Bit less, but you know. Yeah. Basically, we need to find we need to find some professional help to make that gold usable, and then we can just pay them with the gold, though. So that's good. Uh, it's gonna cost us like twenty five grand. Yeah. So what? That's like. That's still doable though. That is still what, doable. What? That's like two chests of the gold. Uh, no, that's one no. chest. That's one chest. Uh, no, that's not even one chest. Uh, wait, is that is it? Uh, twenty five hundred meters for. Twenty five hundred for one chest. Yes. For five thousand oh, uh, pounds. Because. The chest is worth a quarter million. Yeah. So that's what I said. To make it usable, we need to spend money. But we can pay them with the money we make out of this. Yeah. Um. We're still going to make like 247k. Oh, we're making We will make money out of that. Here's the thing. We need to find professional help with this. Oh, hell yes. But it's a, it's a nice mid... It's a nice midterm goal. And in fact, we can probably make like some like let's say we just make we like refined gold valued at twenty five thousand or something so we have some capital we can probably afford that we'll see yep. we'll see first we have to ask so so media is gonna have her mind to go the fuck home <laughs> yeah. yes she will just pay the next trip 25,000 gold. Uh, no, not even that. Just walk up to Wizard, plunk down like three grand and, ca and, sit and tell them to teleport her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be a good idea if you're going to a Wizard because a Wizard has probably more uh, opportunities uh, to plus, get that much acid. Yeah, plus I don't have to plus I don't have to risk going over oh my going God. across the ocean for Dude, and risk no. getting attacked by cutthroat again. Here's what we do. We find a wizard who can plane shift or something and ask him to, to get us some shit from the plane of acid. <laughs> uh, quasi elemental plane you're thinking of. 
Yeah, it's what well, is literally a quest. It's a plate full of acid. Just pour out some. It should be too hard. Then we just need a big smelter. Okay, we have a plan. Um, That's good. We just need to be careful that a quasi element, uh, quasi up. Uh, acid quasi elemental rather doesn't come out look that's why we're going to a wizard that's why we're going to the professionals yeah. look that it's a it's a nice mid midterm goal to get a shitload of money without dying in the process man <laughs> wait Can wait I roll <laughs> anything like over I mean, this is a nice place to stop, though. Look, when we finally get that big old magic ship, we'll have like a million gold to outfit it with. <laughs> media will go home, and the media will go home, and I'll bring in the new character. Just solid gold sails. Possibly. <laughs> Impractical we'll as hell, but great. You just look at it, you're blinded for life. Great work. Yes. <laughs> hell, we'll do it. Anyway, this, this, is a good place, this is a good yeah. place to stop, though. So if this yeah. plan works, we're going to snap wealth by level over our fucking knee. <laughs> good. <laughs> like, right proper PCs. Well, there's a lot of work involved, though. <laughs> we better. Okay, I'm going to stop recording you, though. So, say bye. Say bye. 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 Aye, 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 Captain. <laughs>